live. Okay, so you said cream of the crop. Hold on oh, a second. No, no don't you gonna put me on the spot straight away? No, no, no. Wait, um, wait. I have to message Harry. He was like, I need to know exactly. Yeah, what message you're going him. Live. But like, um, okay. I would say, Ian, that uh, to say there's a cream of the crop depends on what you're really looking for, because I think. You know, you can look at like a werewolf, uh, American Werewolf in London as the, I'm talking like just film wise, film wise, like just mm -hmm. well made, true, big budget stuff. Because what you're usually going to find is is low budget. And then there's that long period of where they switch from classic anime, I mean, classic uh, effects to CGI. And so you're going to go back and see a lot of bad CGI, like lots of bad CGI. So Mo, you are to... you trying to say yeah. there is no cream of the crop? No, no, no. I <laughs> am going to say that uh, cream of the crop like comes with a, with a grain of salt. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> but I'll let Ian talk. I he's the, he's there, the werewolf man. I think there is. Yeah, there's definitely. I think there's definitely cream of the crop when it comes to werewolf films. And there, then there's a pretty big, severe drop off. <laughs> And then there's a, it's a whole cliff. lot of other werewolf movies. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a cliff. It's yeah. a precipice, and all the rest are just kind of milling around in a pit at the bottom. Uh, you know. There's a few that you hit on the way down. <laughs> there's a few that you'll hit on the way down, but yeah, um, uh, yeah I, it's it's pretty severe. Okay, so right. today so there was a crisis. Start? Are we gonna uh, start I'm, gonna start, I'm just going to go. No, no, I'm going to start with your crisis today. I made. I made Sarah watch Ginger Snaps today. She had the choice of okay. Bad Wolf versus, was Bad it Bad Moon. Wolf? Bad, Bad Moon, Moon versus Bad Moon. Uh, Ginger Snaps. And I forced her in that one direction only because Ginger Snaps has a lot more to say cult culturally than the than Bad Moon. But Bad Moon is like a classic. <laughs> That's for sure. But it's a classic. I mean, the only different thing about it is dog vision. Other than dog vision, I mean... <laughs> That's the standout part for you. It's like, oh, every no, that's the movie that's the most movie. different part uh, about it. Is that like Predator? Is that like that kind of? Oh, I've got a, I've got, we we have another movie to talk about that has severe, well, wolf vision. Oh wow! <laughs> okay, can we'll you get, explain we'll get, it we'll get to me? Because we'll I get to the dog vision. What what happens in the dog vision? Everything's black and white, right? No, it's just like a, a what is it? No. A, a fish <laughs> lens? Yeah, yeah, you would to, yeah, fish islands. Okay. Yeah. You made and... the right choice, Sarah, by the way. Okay, all right, cool. Between, the, between those two movies. <laughs> okay, so like the worst part of, like the beginning of Bad Wolf, there's a big sex scene. Well, I, I guess we should start yeah. off by saying there might be spoilers. There's going to be all kinds of wolf spoilers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that. so, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, for us to best. properly talk about them. Yeah. So Ian mentioned the other day about the beginning of uh, Bad Moon. Yes. And then I started it, and then... It's like this hardcore, you know, there's a sex scene, and then it's like, it's right off the bat, fucking attack. Pretty awesome. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> uh, fully practical wolf. Uh, looks really good. The wolf looks really good. It looks way better than I remembered it. I, I hadn't seen Bad Moon in quite a few years. I didn't remember it all that well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Or, fond or fondly. <laughs> uh, but that wolf, would, I, that wolf attack at the start, I was like... Oh shit! I'm in. This is this is amazing. <laughs> do you remember oh, the? No, uh, now I feel like I missed out. Do you remember? Do you remember the uh, VHS cover for? I mean the, uh, the I guess it was a DVD VHS cover for it. It really sucked. Bad Moon has one of the best. The covers. Ah, I think Bad Moon is one of the best cover artworks. Really? In general, maybe I'm thinking of another of werewolf movies. <laughs> in really? general, so it's just it's the wolf and the moon is its eye. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I yeah. love it. I think it's great. Really? See, like for I me. Mean, uh, uh, go ahead. Oh yeah, yeah. I was that just gonna cool. say when it comes to when it comes to covers, the 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 half transformed face on the front of the VHS of American Werewolf. Oh yes, yes. Is is by far the best. When I was a kid, and we used to go to the video shop, and I guess I was too young to watch it, and I used to look at all the horror covers. That was the one that actually frightened me because it looked like they just 
photographed a werewolf. <laughs> <All that. laughs> like, this is real. <laughs> <laughs> it looked right. so real because all the rest, like, they're illustrations usually, you know, these really amazing illustrations. But American Werewolf mm-hmm. in London just looks like they just found a werewolf and took a photograph of it. I was yeah. like, holy shit, look at that. <laughs> How'd they do that? <laughs> uh, this is incredible. Sarah, have you seen the thriller video for, for Michael Jackson? Yeah. That's that's Everyone's a lot of the, a lot of the same people who worked on the film worked oh, on that okay. video, yeah. and the theme is also sort of from that from that movie. It oh, is okay. the quintessential. Yeah. I think it's the quintessential werewolf movie for me, definitely. Right, I'm working my way up to that one. Yeah. Right, I'm so, still in the pit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to? I'm really curious as to which ones you've watched. Sorry. Okay, so I watched. Um, no, I feel like I'm saying, like, I actually really enjoyed Ginger Snap. So I watched that today. I watched Ginger Snap mm-hmm. today. Hey, Harry. Harry's saying hi. Um, and so I watched that one. I liked it. I watched Wolf. I think it's just called Wolf. The Nicholson right? one? Sorry? The one The Jack where... Nicholson one? No, 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 no. It wasn't that one. It no. was one that's on Netflix, I think. Yes, it's on Netflix and it's... Um, they're in the they're away from society there's a lot of different kids they all think they're different animals but the main character thinks he's oh right yes i actually have not seen that one okay all right that was an interesting one it's hard to call that one a werewolf movie yeah so there's there's uh, yeah there's definitely a few okay since we're talking about complete spoilers there's definitely a few films that we're going to talk about that are not technically werewolf movies well, apparently, with the whole lycanthropy thing, you can think you're different animals. So maybe it is legit, right? right? I don't know. But it was quite disturbing. I thought this movie was quite disturbing. But it was also a little bit of a vegan propaganda movie. <laughs> 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 it felt like it anyway. It That's really did funny. feel like it. It was like all the animals were caged and this guy was like, we're better than animals. Look at us. Look how powerful we are. Look at them. <laughs> and then the wolf guy was like, no, this is horrible. Like if we're better than them, we shouldn't be doing this. And I'm like, is this a vegan movie? <laughs> <laughs> it was like so weird but this guy who was like trying to fix all of the kids and make them more human right mm-hmm. he was doing just so many horrible things he like made the squirrel the the boy who thought he was a squirrel he made him like try and climb the scr- uh, the tree like a squirrel and his like nails were like flipping off and oh god it was horrible i hate that stuff i hate nails and eyes <laughs> i don't hate anything to do with that so he's how are you really- how are you with teeth uh, yeah, I'm not as bad with teeth. Yeah, that's what my wife can't stand. She can oh, really? Like if, once if... Teeth, teeth get involved, she's out. Yeah, <laughs> pulling out teeth and stuff. Yeah, that is pretty gruesome. But no, I'm I'm less. Yeah. yeah, I'm less perturbed by that. And then and then he like there was a parrot girl, and he you know that's what I want to see. Standing behind girl. her. Yeah, she was. He was making her fly out of the window, and I'm like, "This is really bad." And there was like so much tension. <laughs> and I'm like, "Is she gonna do it?" Like, yeah. So it was. Quite, it was an interesting movie for sure. So is um, this like a, a reprogramming metaphor? Yeah, yeah, Not reprogramming, kind of which what, I think was. Isn't that like the werewolf? You guys have to explain to me what the actual werewolf thing is, because I thought it was about repressing stuff. And if it is about repressing, then this movie sort of was all about that. That's like reverse werewolf, though. Is it? Sort of. So werewolf in my opinion, about I mean, repressing. It's about. It's, it's all about, about the transformation. I think it. I think it can be about both, right? In the same way yeah. that, like, you know, if you look at the witch, I don't know if you've seen the witch, the Robert Eggers movie. That's much more about, um, the like the empowering nature of a certain power or, or, or stuff like that. And I think werewolves can do that. I think Ginger Snaps does that to an extent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, oh, I, uh, and I think it's... So, yeah, it's definitely sometimes it's it's a kind of about the dangers of giving in to your bestial yeah. side, but then sometimes it's like, ah, it's, it's all right if you do a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit's okay. Moderation. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things it could, it could be, because you've also got the... the severe like male dominance thing that's in it you know because there's a lot more men right. werewolves than there are female werewolves. there's a lot more right. oh before we get into it though there, there is there any more sarah that you had seen because you'd only gotten to oh Wolf and i and watched silver bullet silver bullet oh my that's a gosh. classic 
Wow. It's not a great one, but it's a classic. We're going to, we're going to, it's, it's the Goonies, the Goonies of werewolf movies. Yeah. Yes. It's family friendly. It's even got fireworks in wolves' eyes and shit. So, yeah, that yeah. that part was cool actually. I didn't mind no that firework. <laughs> the firework well, in the yeah, it, and how she was searching all around the it. town for who had a you know an eye patch. Yeah, and then it, you know it wasn't revealed to her until the last moment. That was that part was cool. That was the best bit of the movie. <laughs> so that's it's the three that you've watched. Yeah, that's the three that I watched. Yeah. I tried to watch <laughs> I know. And I tried to watch A Company of Wolves, but now that we're all watching it, uh, Amazon have been like, "Ooh, this movie's in demand." And now they're charging. Uh -oh. I think that was us. We did that. Yeah, we made them charge. <laughs> uh -oh. yeah. Harry's asking about the Twilight movies. Who's the guy oh, that I had that written as a question. I had that so, written as a question, Harry. Who's I was going to ask him at the end. The werewolf? Who's the werewolf guy? Uh, I don't know Twilight. I haven't seen it. His but name in the movie is Josh, uh, isn't it? Joshua or something. So, because it's like you're either Team Josh or you're Team. Right, right. I didn't know if Team Jacob, Jacob and Team right? Josh. Jacob. I didn't know oh, which Jay. one was what. Whatever. Whatever. I don't know. It's a J movie. J does, name, does he sparkle? That's the problem what I have. The problem I have with those werewolves is I think the core of a good werewolf story is always that it's a tragedy. I think hmm. the werewolf has to be mm. a tragic figure. And they're just running around in the forest having a great time uh, okay so <laughs> if, if turning that's into the case, wolves and you know okay so if that's the case let's go to the howling which um okay so the howling sarah at the beginning is they have a serial killer that's on the loose and they find out it's a werewolf and then you find out there's secret society and all this other shit happens so what it's there's a lot more than that Wait, but what? <laughs> you've got smart werewolves in it i haven't seen it in a while but i remember the werewolves were smart I mean, usually when you go yeah. into this animal state, you're not very bright. I mean, you're animal bright, but not like you can't go and like pick a lock and shit. But these werewolves were right. bright. You got animal smart. smarts. <laughs> yeah, they were actually right. smart. Is that is that what you remember, Ian? Or how, how long has it been since you've yeah, seen I, that? Yeah, I, I remember. I've seen The Howling many, many times, so I, I know it pretty well. Um, uh, the Howling is, yeah, th so they're... they're um, for the most part, willing werewolves. They're happy to be werewolves. They're cool with it. They're all in a little werewolf club. Uh, they all have werewolf parties. <laughs> um, <laughs> and yeah, they can transform at, at will. So it's not a full moon thing. Uh, uh, it takes a while. The transformation scene goes on for about 10 minutes. Not really. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, and and they are, yeah, they so they retain their knowledge and consciousness and all that it's just they turn into a big wolf basically mm -hmm. but it's still the same person they have intention and yeah they know you know they're not just a wild animal how do they so, make the but transformation I think howling... do they put a little wolf belt on and then uh, that whole thing no they just kind oh. of will it go rawr. They're, like the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing they're it now like... Rawr. <laughs> <laughs> they're like the illuminati but they're wolves you know they're like their own right. little society but my question yeah. is, where's the tragedy in that? What do well, you think the tragedy, except for the there's... last scene in the howling, because that is tragic. Well, well, that's that's it, right? So that that's that, yeah. And I think there's there's also there's an old guy who is part of the. I don't know how well you remember this, he, but he's part of the little commune that she goes to. She goes basically, Sarah. She goes on this um, uh, to like a, a community, like a retreat community. Right. Yeah. Where all these people who are supposedly sufferers of trauma go, but they're all—it turns out they're all werewolves. Right. Um. There is a cup. There's definitely one old guy. I think there might be more who are like not cool with them all being werewolves and what they're doing as well. Like mm -hmm. there's a there's a there's a scene a, a, around a campfire at a party. Again, I'm a little vague on this, but uh, there's the this one? old guy who gets drunk and he's just like, you know. I can't remember what he says, but it's just like, I don't want to be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> right. Is that the one that had the, the drawings in it? Like, it was so cheap on, like, animation and had drawings, or was that, uh, was that Howling 4? There's one oh. that, that had the animation <laughs> scene. <laughs> the, <laughs> so, yeah, there are, like, I don't know, eight Howling movies? Yeah. There's a lot of, wow. them. <laughs> a lot of them. I really, I really like the first one. Um, the first the one was actually, one. when I watched it as a kid, um 
the one that probably scared me the most because it's got a kind of a sleazy edge to it as well. Mm -hmm. It's like, it seems a bit more adult than some other movies that the werewolves are great. The werewolves are like standing up biped werewolves. Uh, the, the suits are great. The transformation sequence is really creepy. It does. It is quite comical because it does take literally not literally 10 minutes, but it takes a long time for the transform. Yeah. Meanwhile, the woman is like standing there just going, oh, just, a lot. Yeah. Like, just, <laughs> just walk out the door. <laughs> You'd be in the next state by the time he's finished. Um, but it's, it, it's an amazing sequence. Like it's from, from oh, a yeah. special effects point of view. The, um, so the Rob other... Bottin did, did the howling and he went on to do like Robocop and oh, yeah. Total Recall. <clears throat> And Rick Baker actually started on The Howling, but then got poached to do American Werewolf. Those two films came out in the same year, The Howling and American Werewolf. Um, and I think The Howling probably would have been a much bigger deal if its thunder wasn't stolen <laughs> by American Werewolf in London. Uh, likewise, uh, Wolfen came out that year as well. So that was a three werewolf year. Oh, wow. People were crazy about very werewolves unusual. at that time. Yeah, I don't know anything yeah, about Wolfen. Yeah. Oh, we can briefly talk about Wolfen. <laughs> okay, so before we go into that, the other thing about the howling is there is very little humor. Like at least in American Werewolf in London, even though it's way uh, more cinematic, I would say, mm. there's dark humor, there's there's yeah. levity in it. But in the howling, mm-hmm. there is no such freaking thing. It is pure, uh, I don't know, werewolf. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, that's that's true. I mean, I don't think humor is necessarily a staple of a a, a werewolf story. It you know, unintentionally is many times. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's it's definitely one of the things that sets American Werewolf apart because it is genuinely funny as well as genuinely a good horror movie. Yeah, um, but yeah, no, you're right. The Howling has. Uh, I don't think it's got any humor in it, really. <laughs> Except for now, looking Quite back. <laughs> oh, sure. At the at, at the very end, in order, <laughs> um, the the final girl. The, it's Dee Wallace actually, who is ET's mother. If you remember ET's mother from ET, uh, she escapes and she goes back to her normal life as a reporter, and she goes on TV as a like to do this expose about this werewolf community. <clears throat> And in order to convince everybody that it's true, she turns into a werewolf on camera. <laughs> Except she turns into this like really cute chihuahua werewolf. I yeah. don't know why. Oh, no. <laughs> it's got this little button nose. I, like, oh, I think that's for the sympathy for the very last part. You know, like I think because so. Because they had to put her down. <laughs> and so they want you to have sympathy oh, for her. No. It's so sad. Yeah. And people at home are all like, um, I think that like the things they can do with CGI are amazing now. And, you know, they don't believe what they see. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And then there's one guy who's like, nah, she turned into a werewolf. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it's a, it's a, it's a weird film. That's Joe Dante directed that. And he did like gremlins and. Oh um, yeah. The burb, oh. Like the burbs and stuff like so that. So that's right. probably his darkest film then. If you mention like the gremlins and shit, cause werewolf was I mean, yeah Halloween he was did pretty dark. yeah definitely he did um small soldiers is his mm, that one has a lot uh, of humor the, yeah the burbs is his obviously uh piranha <laughs> the first oh, piranha man. movie is his I've been saying that <laughs> yeah. Although, what's funny about okay um, so quick side note on piranhas what's funny is like if you watch piranhas now like just the titles They've gone from bra- like yeah. Piranha, and then it goes Piranha, Bikini Island. Like they get progressively, they start losing clothes <laughs> as the names, keep- as the more Piranhas <laughs> come out, the more they lose clothes in the in the title. <laughs> like naked Piranha Beach and stuff now. Naked Piranha Beach. Okay. Well, let's, while while we're there, let's very briefly talk about Wolfen, which you haven't seen, Mo. Is that correct? I haven't seen it. So Wolfen is this weird movie that came out in 1981 as well. Um, it's weird for a number of um, number of reasons. So it's got Albert Finney's in it. It's kind of a procedural social commentary thing. That's um, the wolves in it are real wolves. They use real wolves and dogs in it. So there's no real 
transformation. <clears throat> has this very bizarre video effect for wolf vision as it's like as the wolves are you know prowling the streets um and it kind of has this native american like their shapeshifters and stuff like that uh it's directed by a guy called michael wadley wadley who actually directed the woodstock documentary oh, like he won an shit. oscar for the woods for the woodstock documentary right uh <clears throat> And then he directed Wolfen, and, and it was such a like the 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 relationship that he had with the studio was so horrible that he never directed another film, as far as I know. Like oh, he wanted wow. to make a four-hour <laughs> werewolf epic. Did he? <laughs> no, 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 no. They were like, no, it needs to be ninety minutes. Um, <laughs> and it's from a it's from a novel by um, uh, the UFO guy. Um, uh, Whitley Schreiber. Do you know? Do you know who he is? No, I don't. So Whitley, have you ever seen the Christopher Walken movie Communion? I haven't. The oh, that's worth a look. <laughs> that is okay. a it movie. rings a bell Holy for shit. some reason. I don't know why. So Whitley Schreiber is, is he wrote The Hunger as well? You know that Susan Sarandon okay. movie with David Bowie on it, the vampire one. Um, mm -hmm. He wrote a bunch of novels, but he then he wrote this thing called Communion, and which he said was based on real events that happened to him when he was abducted by aliens and had all these experiences with aliens and wow, <laughs> it's okay. an incredible book and it's been made into <laughs> just the most amazing film with christopher walken it hmm. i can't even i can't even describe it go go away and watch communion yeah uh and yeah wolfen is based on a novel by that guy so it's a weird movie the movie itself is i think it's really good i think despite all these weird factors it turned out really well um it's uh and albert finney's great in it and yeah it's worth definitely worth a watch it's not very werewolfy though if you know what i mean there's no big transformation sequence it doesn't have a right. monster it's just got big wolves actual wolves so, yeah um, actual there... wolves. <clears throat> but the like the photography of the wolves themselves is is pretty cool is, uh, what's the tragedy in that one you would say or what, what point us in the direction of the tragedy in that well, i think that is a good example of it why it's not very werewolfy oh, okay <laughs> okay yeah yeah <laughs> well i mean the it, it the story is it, it's it's about like native american communities being um displaced due to uh, land like real estate deals and stuff like that so mm. i mean there is a tragedy there but it doesn't really have a character as a tragic figure mm. okay so uh Such. do they is it like a skinwalker kind of thing? Because I, I kind of yeah. wanted to touch that. Like, okay, so skinwalkers versus werewolves are, are slightly different. Um, and that yeah. allows, lets you, like, okay, so is it Howling 4 with the marsupials? Three. The Howling is 3. Is it three? <laughs> Sarah, three. If, if I was going to suggest, oh, no. Sarah, you watch one more werewolf movie. <laughs> it has to be Howling 3? <laughs> <laughs> Just for the Australian angle, it's incredible. Okay. All right. It's amazing. It has the most Australian line in any movie ever, and I'm not going to say it. But okay. you watch it, and you hear I'll it, know, and right? Know it. I'll just know. I can't. I can't. I can't oh, you'll know. You'll know. It's amazing. <laughs> okay. So on on a side note, have you, have you seen I mentioned... that? No. No. I, I well, I have, but I don't remember it well enough. I just remember Australia, and uh, they did that thing with the uh, marsupial freaking wolves and it was it was very weird for the time yeah it's like a it's like a thylacine marsupial yeah. werewolf but then there's also this hollywood thing where they're making a film as well so the scenes where they're the scenes of a werewolf film that they're making within the film yeah and often the special effects of the fake film look better than the special effects <laughs> of what's actually happening <laughs> it's a very strange film if you want like a werewolf film to put on at a party put that one on okay people will be like is what is fucking going insane. on <laughs> so is the tragedy sometimes because the werewolf character is like an unredeemable character is the werewolf character an unredeemable character or not? depends on the uh, film well it it's it's not it's not a it's not a redemption thing i think it's a um well they're just cursed right cursed, yeah it's it's an, it's an inevitable curse mm -hmm. usually um, I mean, that's at least a traditional werewolf. I, I mean, there are there are plenty, like in literature and stuff, there are plenty of examples of 
<clears throat> again like willing werewolves or werewolves as demons basically and, and stuff like that but i think in in films for the most part and this probably comes from like the universal the wolfman and stuff like that it is much mm. more of a um yeah a, a tragedy a tragic figure and i like think curse. That, uh bad moon goes on that trope because the the main guy is an unwilling werewolf and he's trying to cure himself. Is he though? <laughs> is he? Is he though? Sort of. I mean, he had that. He had some. He had sciency stuff, and he was looking through microscopes and stuff. <laughs> and then you had the. Yep. Um, go ahead. Let's hear. It. Let's hear. It. I mean, he he is he is, but once he once he moves into his sister's place, oh yeah, he's like he seems it. pretty cool with it. He's like, fuck, I'm gonna be a werewolf now. Get out of my way, dog. Except um, he does chain himself and to that the when tree. She... After the he fact, does. or he's it's going little, to, he's going it's to. A... Yeah, it's 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 a little um, unclear on his feelings towards the whole matter because <laughs> <Right? laughs> he gets he gets attacked and bitten by a werewolf at the start. That's obviously he didn't intend for that to happen. He was having a lovely time with his lady friend. <laughs> um, but then, very <laughs> lovely indeed. Yeah, but then wherever it was by the lake that he he was living there's lots of killings he doesn't seem particularly sad about that he moves away because he doesn't want to get caught i think right mm. and then he goes to his sister's house he chains himself to the tree fair enough but i'm not sure if that's more self-preservation like he doesn't want to run around kill loads of people and get shot or he doesn't seem to care about killing anybody mm. and when his sister finds out he's like well i guess i gotta eat you you know, he's not like, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't yeah. seem to give a shit. He definitely has an interesting so. relationship with Thor, the dog. In, yeah. in most films, when you have, like you well, have this the alpha, hero. yeah, the dog is like a stunt dog yeah. and he does actual stunts in the movie, which is pretty cool. But like, usually when you have a werewolf yeah. and a dog, you, the werewolf is the dominant character and it scares the dog or the right. dog yeah. and the werewolf can be friends. But in this thing, they're exactly opposite. You know that they're going to come ahead and fight each other. You already know it from the very beginning. Is there really a fight yeah. scene between Thor the dog and the werewolf? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. At least two. A, sounds amazing. Yeah. It's pretty fucking epic. Actually, that's a good fight scene for a werewolf. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good werewolf. However. <laughs> However. I think <laughs> that film has the worst transformation sequence I've ever seen. It's pretty bad. It, it has because yeah. it, it uses very early CGI and it's just mm. like a blobby, blendy, blurry. It's horrible. Like oh, I wow. that docks a whole a whole star for me. <laughs> 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 just just that, that transformation sequence. Leave it out, and the film is a hundred times better. Okay, so bad transformations. You can go to straight to yeah. Wolf with the uh, there's Wolfman with uh, Benicio del Toro. That was like 2010. I quite enjoy that film it's not great but i do quite enjoy yeah, it's a good I find film it pretty entertaining i find it pretty entertaining and i but so i really wish so you know yeah so rick baker did the effects on that right the american werewolf mm -hmm. guy the, the good stuff the, the werewolf guy yeah so he did all of the he did the suit and he did everything and apparently he had prepped a whole transformation sequence which at the end they decided to use cgi right the producers decided to use CGI. I would have loved to have seen what that would have been. Mm -hmm. um, I I don't mind the transformation sequence when he's in the chair, like in the hospital, and he's surrounded by all the people. I think that's quite well done because most of it's on his face. Um, but the first one is terrible, yeah, because it's all blobby it's horrible CGI. CGI. Yeah, and it's then... awful. Yeah, 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 And they did the same thing with um, Cursed, the Wes Craven movie. Again, Rick Baker made this amazing suit, like full werewolf suit, uh, practical suit. He did a he did a practical transformation sequence, and then they just put dreadful CGI over it. Oh no! I haven't seen Curse. Yeah, it's I I wouldn't unless you want to see. It's got a scene <laughs> where a werewolf um, flips the bird at somebody. That's quite. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> you can just look up that look up that clip. But it's it's yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. bad. Okay, so yeah. Sarah, the transformation scene in you were actually texting me about the ginger snaps 
transformation scene where you got you, you mentioned the tail. <laughs> oh man, that was looked. funny. No, that's so the tail part Ginger was stuff is, is almost the whole film is almost the transformation scene. Right, there's yeah. so many. Right, and it's gradual. Um, Very it's gradual, actually yeah. yeah, and it's actually um not bad. I actually think it's pretty cool, and I think that the yeah. werewolf at the end that she turns into looks pretty cool. I don't know why it always has to be so like. Uh, wet like why do werewolves have to be so wet like i imagine them being very furry and dry but they're always like gooey and wet and i'm like why is this i guess it's like it has that gremlin thing right it's like i don't know yeah um it's weird but i actually think she i think they did a really good job and i think she looked cool as she started going gray you know like her hair was changing everything yeah. was changing gradually like one of her eyes went a different color first and and stuff like that i thought yeah, that was really yeah. cool I actually really liked the yeah, movie. Yeah, I, th I thought the it gradual was like... transformation is, is is pretty unique. It, maybe not unique, yeah. but it's it, it's not certainly not the norm, right? It's got really not much to do with the full moon. I mean, yeah. it, it does thematically, you know, obviously, but um, they make sure to throw it in there. They're like, "Oh, you got you know bitten on a full moon, so now you're going to be a werewolf," right. kind of thing. I love yeah. how they always yeah, explain yeah, yeah. that in like. Uh, yeah. Silver, Bullet, <laughs> Silver Bullet was full of those sort of things. It's like we can explain exactly what's happening. You know, that was part of like the '80s kind of thing. They just explained right. everything, especially in a Goonies type movie. Yeah. yeah, often in Silver Bullet, they'd explain it actually before it happens as well. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, like a cartoon. tell you what's about to happen. <laughs> so I'm even... Silver Bullet is one of the ones that's usually in a in a top ten or considered a classic that I don't really care for i've yeah. never really cared for silver bullet it's always just been like it's fine you know <laughs> the yeah. werewolf is super good go super goofy yeah yeah um i however i really <laughs> love so silver bullet is based on uh cycle of the werewolf by stephen king it's like a mm -hmm. series of novella basically i guess um but if you look at that book, it's illustrated by an, an, an illustrator called Bernie Wrightson, who's one of my favorite comic illustrators, uh, co-creator on Swamp Thing, and he did loads of loads of stuff. He's done lot, lots and lots of things. Uh, but he's got these incredible werewolf illustrations. He's got a very unique way of drawing werewolves. Uh, oh, wow. And they're just super, super cool illustrations. Uh, so I love that, but I don't really love Silver Bullet the film yeah it was a weird movie for me like i i thought it didn't age well um like you said that whole <laughs> explaining things before they happen thing was like well why am i even watching this like <laughs> there's no kind of yeah. suspense in it um and also okay so this is an interesting thing and i found this in ginger snaps too but there was a character. There's, there was a character that was basically the same in both movies, which was the like addict guy who was mm. very wise, who is going to end up being the yeah. hero. And I thought that was really interesting as well, right? So you've got, um, oh, what's his name? What's the actor in Silver Bullet? It's like a famous actor. Oh, Who's the, um, he's like the uh, drunken teeth, uncle teeth, that. Teeth guy. It's a. Uh, oh God. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> what is his name? <laughs> Um, I'll remember in a second, but he's yeah, like Gary, he, Gary, Gary, Busey. Busey. yes, that's it. Busey. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he yeah. plays it so well, and he's like, Oh, but he's a drunk, and blah blah blah. And he's you know, he's troublesome. And it's like paint yeah. him as this troublesome person who's you know, bad and bad yeah. news or whatever. But then he's wise, and, and of course, the he's the one that believes believes them. Yeah. And then the drug dealer in, in Ginger Snaps is the same like character, yeah, which is a really interesting, interesting. yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that's, I, I think that's that something. I don't know if that's a trope. Well, I think it has to do with a. Well, I don't know about the drug dealer so much, but in a lot of classic uh, werewolf <laughs> movies, you have this thing that people don't believe in werewolves, okay? So they have this dude that has like the old knowledge. He's like, yeah. when you're ready to deal with the werewolf, come see me and I'll tell you how to deal <laughs> yeah, with like the werewolf. <laughs> Like a book bookstore owner or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. Right. Always you know, just someone who the has book, the knowledge. The book with all the engravings and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they have that in the howling as well. The guy that knows how to make silver bullets. There, that's the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was that guy in Silver Bullet too, because he was like, "You don't have to talk to me, right? Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna make you this bullet, and it's for your nephew, whatever, you know." And he's like, 
<laughs> wink. I know you're killing werewolves. <laughs> the, the, uh, okay, so there's two things I want to say. Like, first, have you seen Viking Werewolf? I mean, well, Viking Wolf. I watched it last night. It's fairly recent. I have seen it, yeah. Okay, and that's one of those classics where there is no transformation. I mean, she transforms, but she's going to stay that way. There's no back and forth. Right. They tell you she's going to yes. stay this way. There is an old dude in that thing, and he is the one with the knowledge, and he's been yeah. chasing werewolves his whole yeah. life. Yeah, the There's most that... ineffectual character in, in any film. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that yeah. just and waits then... around for people to come, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just yeah. wait. I know stuff. I'll just wait. I'm not going to go and help them. They can come to me. <laughs> it's, it's like it's like that guy, that guy in The Shining who comes back to help them. Oh, yeah. He gets an axe in his chest when he walks in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then... The other part is, uh, what was it? Hold on, we'll have to come back to that. <laughs> Carry on. I tried to remember. <laughs> I was going to say something else, but I don't remember exactly. About the Viking wolf. I th Was that another was female pretty... wolf? Because I like that. Like, Yeah, it was a yeah, female wolf. But... Yeah. but not thematically female. <laughs> right. <guess>. True. <laughs> if, True. If, if you know what I mean. I don't yeah. think it's about that. I could be okay. wrong. I don't know. I didn't like it very much. I, I was into it. At the start, but then a big mm -hmm. CGI wolf turned up, and I was like, "Nah, you ruined it." I'll, so are you I'll just not into and... CGI at all, or I have I have yet to see a werewolf in CGI that I thought looked good. The closest was a couple of elements of the Pinicho del Toro Wolfman, mm -hmm. literally a, f a few little bits, um, but it just the, the, I think a lot of the problem is actually in the way they're shot. I think. If if they do it in CGI, um, the director has a tendency to just go, well, I can show it all the time and yeah. from any angle and doing anything. Yeah. Whereas if it's a practical suit, you can't do that. So what you end up with is not seeing it as much. Yeah. And I think that's far I think that's far, far more effective if you actually if you think about Ginger Snaps or American Werewolf, the amount of times you actually see like the fully transformed werewolf, you hardly barely see them at all. Right, uh, and I think I think it's it's way way more effective that way, um, and it's just I just can't my brain just can't. Tr I mean, even though obviously I know it's a person in a suit as well, my brain knows that. Yeah. Or an animatronic or a puppet or something like that. When it's a, when it's a CGI effect, uh, my brain just consistently tells me it's a CGI effect. I mean, maybe that's a me thing, but I think yeah, you hit it right on the head gone. when you said that, like the wolf. They make the wolf do a lot more than they would normally. So, like, when you look yeah. at uh, American Werewolf in Paris, that's a horrible freaking <laughs> film. You've got a, a wolf yep. that, like, jumps <laughs> off of buildings, and it's basically doing somersaults yeah. and all kinds of BS because they can. And you're yeah. like, oh, this sucks. This sucks so bad. The somersaults. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, seriously, they got the wolf doing, like, jumping <laughs> off of buildings and shit, and it sucks. Yeah, yeah, it's real, it's real bad. Yeah, I think it's a lot um, scarier when it's something that's attacking from the shadows or or whatever. But that reminds me of another scene in Silver Bullet, which is like so funny, where it was almost like Star Wars with the like where they're in the trash compactor and there's that thing that's in the bog underneath them. There was that scene where they're all in the forest and they're all just like, "What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen?" And then one by one, they just <laughs> get get attacked by the werewolf. And they're just like. <laughs> oh it's so bad <laughs> it's the worst yeah. scene do you remember it yeah I remember this was actually in your top remember because we went through you guys like actually listed your top 10 i think that silver bullet was in your top 10 no it wasn't it was it was in my top 10 but yes. can we talk about that <laughs> so so i didn't Bash i didn't list 10. mine yet because i i actually have uh, for the last week i found it very hard to actually nail down a top 10 i thought it would be easy the, how the many top have you seen are easy how many have you all, seen all of them i mean over the over the years <laughs> I, I i don't know i've seen many 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 werewolf movies but i mean most of them i watch once and then i completely forget about them like <laughs> i need to think about that again um but so i mean in the last week i, I went or a week and a half i went back and watched i think about 10 that i hadn't seen in a while Oh, wow. And some new ones that I that I hadn't had never seen. Some of which were actually pretty good, um, but mostly my top ten I don't think really has has moved a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, 
so <laughs> is there any other ones about that you particularly wanted to talk about um or do you well, want to like okay so before we get in our top 10 real quick we can talk about werewolf movies okay. that are not werewolf movies but are okay. basically werewolf movies so like uh Wol- wolfy movies wolf- yeah wolf <laughs> brotherhood, movie. well, yeah. brotherhood of the wolf is a, is a really really good movie and you want it to be a werewolf and it gives you the sense that it's going to be a werewolf but it's not you the, know, it's not a wolf. The first 40 minutes, it yeah. might be a werewolf movie. Yeah. yeah. And then it's a tragic yeah, thing yeah. about a, an animal that they fucking they attach all these claws yeah. to and crazy shit. And then the same feeling is from that dude in, uh, what the hell's the name of that movie? I listed it on my top 10 probably. The Wolf of Snow Hollow, I think. Right, is right. See, I like that? the way yeah. that story's told. That's a, that's a big. That's a big spoiler for that movie, by the way. <laughs> uh, we already said we were going to do spoilers. Yeah, really I know, I know. I know, I know. It's a, it's a really good movie. I like it a lot. It's a good movie. It's just, you know, for me, it's a good werewolf movie because it has all the elements but the one most important element. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. Because, yeah, <laughs> I mean, the story's told from a guy that's like, uh, he has insomnia and he's like an alcoholic. And so it's so chopped up and weird. And then you're following a serial it's just killer. It's a nervous breakdown movie. It's a nervous yeah. breakdown movie. He's, yeah, just, he's like just watching... going insane for the whole thing. Yeah. 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 It's quite stressful, but also very funny. And they show you full on werewolf scene movie, like actual scenes. We see a wolf attacking somebody, you know? So at the end, they have to explain the whole shit. They have to explain it all. It's pretty uh, interesting. Yeah. I don't know if they fully you do get... that, but. Does, well, you get assume, like, like watching Stan... it again, yeah, watching yeah, it again, yeah. knowing knowing what I know, I was like, I don't know how that would happen. Oh. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I only saw it the one time. I haven't seen it the second yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it, it's it's still really good. I like it a lot. So, what uh, other movies would you put in that uh, wolf movies, but not werewolf movie? Or like, like those two are clearly supposed to be werewolf movies. They're going off the werewolf sure. tropes, but trying to yeah. fool the audience, basically. Yeah, I mean, I would go. You know, we talked about Wolf, and I think Wolf and kind of falls in there. Um, I think where were were W E or were yeah. I think that falls in there. I don't think that's that, a werewolf movie. That's the Scandinavian one, right? I believe. Yeah, yeah. The one, that basically turns into a superhero movie at the end, which is why oh yeah, I'm not, yeah, yeah. Not particularly fond of it. Um, but they also are like because there's been people like this forever. This is where the werewolf myth came from. Mm-hmm. Which mm-hmm. I've got quite upset at. <laughs> like, hey, that's not where it came from. Like, not only is this not a great movie, but you're also appropriating werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a, it's a fine it's a fine movie. It's well made and all, but I just yeah. as, a, as a werewolf movie. Not, uh, it's not interesting that in the Scandinavian uh, tradition, they're putting like females in these in these roles, like the female wolf in in Wur and the female wolf in Viking Werewolf. They're not traditional so, women roles. F- are we thinking of the same movie? Uh, we might not. Be. Oh, you're th- no, you're thinking of when animals dream. Is that what I'm thinking of? With a, I think with, so. It's like yes, a young girl. Sc- yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she's not That's young, basically... but she's like a teenage girl. Yeah. So no, I, I should have picked up on that. So where is German? I believe. Oh, uh, okay. Um, and it's this guy who is there's like a werewolfy attack and he's arrested. He's this big hairy guy. <laughs> like, he might be a werewolf. <laughs> and then it turns out that he just has this thing where on the full moon he gets really strong and he becomes like a Captain America or something and jumps oh. around and, and kills people. So it's like oh, that's right. Shit. Yeah. Um, no, what when animals dream is is it when animals dream? Have we got the title right? When it sounds familiar, actually. I think so. What? Yes. She's a young lady that she's basically going through puberty, and she becomes yes. a wolf. So it's in a coming-of-age movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sort of. of. She And it's like a hereditary thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not hereditary. bitten. There's no attack or anything. Um, that's basically uh, Let the Right One In, but uh, for werewolves. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's got, good... got kind of Let the Right One In. That's such a good film. Yeah, yeah, it's great. But, um, but yeah, I, yeah, that's another one that I like. That's actually one that I watched in the last week that I had not seen before. Um, mm. When Animals Dream, I liked it, but again, it didn't feel very werewolfy. She just kind of turned right. into a slightly hairy. It could have been Animalistic. a vampire. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? She 
if yeah. if she was a vampire, it would have been the same story. It wouldn't. Mm-hmm. Have, it wouldn't have changed much. It didn't. Yeah. Um. So it was good, but not top tier for me. Not at the top of the cliff. On okay. the way down somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so all right, so top ten. Go for it. We're ready. Wait, I'm can ready. I ask a question before we do top Please ten? Ask all yeah, of what, them. Ask them all. What do you absolutely need for it to be a legit werewolf movie? This is an Ian question because I need far less than Ian does. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's interesting. So I, I need well, I need someone to turn into a werewolf. Right. Yeah. To me, it doesn't really matter what. For the most part, it doesn't matter what, as long as the transformation is significant enough. Okay. Right. So that that's where I were. He just kind of became, his nails grew a little bit, and I was like, yeah, that's not enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that. <laughs> I think I think they need a snout, right? Anything with a yeah. snout is good. Yeah. Um, it doesn't necessarily need to have a transformation sequence, although that's preferable because some yeah. some of mine don't actually have one, really. Um, I mean that's that's pretty much it. I I I think the best ones, as I said, are laced with tragedy. Mm-hmm. Um, I think in general the best ones tend to be, um, at least have a wilderness element to it. Although mm-hmm. American Werewolf in London, obviously, not so much. Um. Ah, uh, yeah. It needs sounds silly, but it needs a werewolf. Okay. <laughs> do they have to say that such and such is a werewolf? Like, do they have no. to say werewolf in the in the movie? No. no. Okay. No. And although, have... although one of my one of my pet peeves, yeah, is when people don't say the obvious thing in films, yeah, yeah. where they're just like, "Why do you set your werewolf film in an alternative universe where everything is exactly the same except no one's ever heard of a werewolf? <laughs> right. Like, what? What? It's so strange. Yeah. Um, they just don't want to say it because they look crazy, I right. guess. Yeah. yeah That's yeah, why yeah. you've got to go to the drug dealer, dude. That's right. Or the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the addict. They'll say it. <laughs> so um, so yeah. there's nothing psychological that you'd need. No. In, in fact, I, I think I think werewolf, kind of like a vampire, is, is pretty flexible in okay. what, you, what you take out of it, like from a metaphorical point of view. Okay. Um, yeah, I think there's been... You know, lots of different twists on what it means to be a werewolf and what that, <clears throat> why that's compelling to us. Yeah, I was going to uh, ask on the on the symbology part, uh, like if we look at American Werewolf in London, and you mm-hmm. you're saying there's not the the forest really, it, I think when you look you, at like there a is, film at like, the start there is there is, but I mean symbolically he is in an, a different area that he's not used to. You know, right. and it was a yeah. common trope in the '70s to be told these stories of people who came back from Vietnam, and they talked mm-hmm. about like going into a village and some family takes them in, and or people that are hitchhiking through Europe, and you hear all right. these stories, and this kind of elaborates on that story. So that's what like one of the reasons why it seems so it's so well done because it takes yeah. these stories we've already heard before. Right. Yeah. 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 So mm. to, yeah, to yeah, me, yeah, the the England is is kind of his forest, kind of uh, in a way. Yeah. England yeah. is the wilderness. England yeah. is the wilderness. <laughs> That's right. For an American, to an American, to an American yeah. where's McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I think that's true. Yeah, that's a, that's a good, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, top ten, let's go. Uh, okay, so my number ten is is Wolfen. Which we've already talked about. Okay. Yeah. I cool. think it's very, very unique. I think it's it's super cool. Uh, my number nine is Bad Moon. What? I, I re- yeah, What's I watched it again. Oh wow! And I was like, yeah, that's my number nine. Okay. I think it's just it's. So I, part of for me, part of the joy of watching a werewolf film is the monster design. I, if yeah. It's got mm. a cool werewolf that's fun to watch and, and well shot. That's a big deal. It doesn't happen very often. Right. Uh, and I think the werewolf, besides the transformation sequence, which is atrocious, <laughs> um, <laughs> Bad Moon, the werewolf in Bad Moon is one of the best, I think, one of the best practical practical werewolves, uh, and it's got a good dog. Yeah, Thor. Dogs. There's actually there's a scene where they actually like okay, a kid rides down to go save his dog, and he 
that's another spoiler. He's he he actually like gets on his bike and there's a car set up so the dog can jump on the car, jump over the freaking uh over, over the, the fence. fence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's this whole <laughs> scene. He's like to watch Thor do this trick. He's like an awesome Such a dog. Good dog. Yeah. <laughs> the the book that it's based on is just called Thor. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. That yeah, makes yeah. sense. Ah, Thor the dog. Uh, so my number 8 then is a new movie to me, which is Good Manners. Have you seen I this? I've heard of it. Wow. This is a Brazilian movie. <laughs> um, it's about a woman who takes up employment kind of as a maid um, to this uh, rich woman who's kind of escaped a marriage. Uh, it's very hard to explain. Anyway, there's werewolfy stuff in it. <laughs> it's, it's, it takes it takes some very unexpected turns. It really takes a left turn halfway through, where you're like, "Oh, oh cool! I love." I that. did not know it, this is what was going to happen. Uh, it's um, it does suffer, unfortunately, in the back end from terrible CGI. Okay. Uh, which, if this had had like a practical suit or what would have probably been a puppet. This would be like top five for me. I wow. think. Really? Yeah, I think it's really good. It just has atrocious CGI. Mm. So the story's really good. Uh, it's um, quite unpredictable. I haven't seen anything like it, like in the werewolf milieu. I think it's it's definitely worth a watch. But I like the title for a werewolf mo movie. Yeah, good yeah, movie. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's super cool. Um, yeah, definitely worth a watch. Uh, number seven is the Wolf of Snow Hollow. Mm. Not aware, not aware. Not aware. We've already discussed. Not aware. What is it doing there? It's a good movie. It yeah, feels it's real... wolfy enough. Right. It, 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 you can tell that they're trying to make a werewolf movie, and yeah. that's with a slight thing, which is really cool because that was like a direct to streaming service movie. Mm. It's that oh, horror really? streaming service. Uh, I forgot the name of it. Shutter. Shutter. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was direct to to there, which is cool, and it's beautifully shot like the the landscape is amazing it's like proper winter wilderness like uh, uh, good acting I... yeah, yeah 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 and good werewolf when it's a werewolf yeah <laughs> good story good story yeah. yeah really really good uh it, like it's on my it's on it's my top seven despite not actually having a werewolf in it that's so that's really, pretty high really, that's it's, high marks it's, it's, it's it's real good uh, number six is The Wolfman from 1941, the Universal, um, Lon Chaney Jr., The Wolfman. That's, mm -hmm. you took that over, what's the original, it was like 32, was, uh, was it 1932 film or was it 35, the original Wolfman, or is this, I thought there was one that was uh, like in the 30s. There is, yes, I do. Uh, I, is that one called The Wolfman or is it called, there's, so there's Werewolf of, of London. Right. I know there was one in like it was thirty two or thirty five, that was a, a a really old werewolf movie, and I thought that was the the one you're talking about. But I, you know, I don't know the old stuff because I haven't really watched a lot of old werewolf stuff. Yeah, so thirty five. Yeah, so Werewolf of London, I think, is what you're talking. That's thirty five. Okay. okay. Yeah, I I like that well enough. It's a good song. <laughs> 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 um, uh it's a i don't know i the world the universal wolfman i i really love i love the atmosphere of it. i love the photography uh i think it's great and i think that's like the the touchstone for a lot of what's to come later and what we oh, think okay. of as, as a werewolf and um yeah it's super cool it's got bella lugosi in it can't go wrong it's got uh um maria oh god what's her name um Uspen, Uspenskaya, I think is her name. Uspenskaya. As Maleva, she's like the 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 uh, gypsy, you know, who says uh, about, she's the she's the drug she's dealer. The one with the knowledge, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. She's, she's the one with the knowledge. She's the one who knows he's he's screwed. Yeah, yeah. The old yeah. world. They go to see her and she's just like, ah, it's not looking good. <laughs> <laughs> like, great, thanks for your help. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, so I love the Wolfman. It's also like it's those universal movies they're they're really beautiful they're really fast like they're just really yeah. well paced they're real quick um they're great i love them 
Um, and number five is the Howling, which we've already talked about. Yeah. Mm. Joe Dante is the Howling. Number four is Dog Soldiers. Oh, that's I'm a good one. About. That is a really yeah. good one. Dog Soldiers is directed by Neil Marshall, who made two great films and then forgot how. <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck. Speaking, speaking about clips. Oh, my God. Um, Dog Soldiers was his first. I think it's his first. His first one that anyone cared about anyway. Uh, it's about some soldiers who go on a training exercise in the highlands of Scotland and there's werewolves. So it's soldiers in a house defending against werewolves. It's got great werewolves. It is They're the big... aliens two of wolves. You know, sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. Uh it's really cool. The wolf the wolf suits are incredible. Um they're really tall. They've got like proper wolf heads, they, but they don't look like a guy in a big shaggy suit. <laughs> you yeah. know, they're they're quite they're quite lithe and skinny and muscular. They look super cool. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really funny. Um, it's really good. It's just really really good. Good cast. It's got Kevin McKidd in it. It's got Sean Pertwee in it, uh, and it's got Liam Cunningham uh, from he's in Game of Thrones, right? Liam Cunningham? I think so. Rings a bell. Irish guy. Anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Dog Soldiers is great. Uh, his next film, The Descent, is also amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, then don't watch anything he's made past that. So on <laughs> on Dog Soldiers... <laughs> Sorry, Neil. Uh, <laughs> we, were having, we had a party and we rented some movies and we were just going to put some movies on, in the, on, you know, on the side while people were just hanging out and Dog Soldiers was one of them. We had no idea what it was. It was playing in the background. Everybody stopped. Everybody got around the TV, and we we, we <laughs> and watched the whole thing. It was like this is amazing. It yeah. was so good, and it was out of nowhere. We didn't. We had yeah. no idea what we had. It was so good. Yeah, it was really, really, really good. Uh, that really was good. Crowd really good characters, which is actually a like usually in horror films, there's like six characters, and you get to know two of them, and the rest of them just get. Even. Right. Yeah. Um, but it actually has a, Yeah, it actually has a really good set of characters, very memorable characters. Um very funny, very quotable. Really good. Really good. Yeah, Come when through. I when I posted that we were talking about werewolves, like I it was the crowd favorite. Like I got so many messages like, Oh yeah. Dog soldiers, dog soldiers. Yeah. 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 yeah that's good. Um the other cool thing about it is it it has the soldier wolf thing that you kind of got from American Werewolf kind of like they they made this iconic image of the of the German fucking werewolf dream soldier thing that was cool right that was like the next iteration yeah right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and made that connection yeah yeah um my number three is the company of wolves which oh, we yes. have not fully talked about but we definitely need to yes. yeah. Definitely. So the Company of Wolves is based on a couple of short stories, three short stories, I think, by Angela Carter, who's an incredible author. And she also wrote the screenplay with Neil Jordan, who directed it. Uh, it's kind of a Little Red Riding Hood uh, fable. Um, I guess the framing device is about this young girl who's entering puberty who has basically has a dream and the whole movie is kind of like a sequence of dreams within dreams and stories within stories and things like that um and it's all just these different tales all based around wolves and kind of what they represent to different types of people like the idea of being wild or outside of society or all these different things and it's also <clears throat> very much from a, a despite being directed by a man i think it's also very much feels like a female movie to yeah. me at least yeah i would say um, so i would i would say that those little things that you were saying i think that all those stories can be interpreted as a female's view of the fe of the male female dynamic in a way and also right. you know the uh, coming of age thing because there is a yeah. story about just a female that like yes goes into the well or whatever which yes. is which is yeah, interesting yeah, yeah. cuz even yeah. like there's one scene where like there's a there's a woman who gets with the who gets married 
and then her husband gets eaten <laughs> by a wolf, or at least they think so, and then she yeah. gets remarried, and then he comes back, and it turns out he was just hanging out with the wolf brothers and came back. And so that is kind of like the, it's just this weird idea of like the dude being able to you know go and to do his own thing his thing yeah. and then come back yeah. to his, and then she still has an obligation to him as yeah. the original husband which is really weird it's really really mm. weird. yeah because it's 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 their wedding night and he says i'm just going outside and you can hear wolves in the background and she says what for and he just says call of nature and then he doesn't come back for like years <laughs> right oh, so wow. she thinking then, he went to go take a leak and he's gone yeah he got eaten by wolves <laughs> and then yeah she remarries she has kids and then he just comes back someday and he's like, well, what's all this? <laughs> <laughs> what's all this then? Where did you go? <laughs> yeah, that's so good. Uh, mm. So the stories that, that it's based on, um, they're from a collection called The Bloody Chamber. Um, mm -hmm. And it's actually, it's a, I mean, she co-wrote the screenplay, but it's, they're it's very faithful adaptations of those stories. Mm -hmm. um, like for a, for a film that's quite, um, episodic and, and and it's kind of like you know a bit of this a bit of that a bit of this, some very disconnected elements to it uh it is very it does very faithfully adapt those stories um which are definitely worth a read if and you want to i was one of to... them like a retelling of red riding hood or, yes. or something yeah yeah because the red riding yeah. hood thing is an interesting story that you don't yeah like i really loved it when i was like a little girl i loved that story and then later you grow up and you're like you know, this is really like it's a it's a bad story, right? Because it's about this yeah. naive girl who she she can't even tell who her grandma is. Like her grandma is a wolf now. Like how can right. she be yeah, yeah, yeah. so naive? Um, yeah. And also, there's that whole element of she's out with this red coat. Mm. It's like, oh, if you attract attention, like it's yeah, you're going yeah, yeah, out, yeah, yeah. you're attracting attention. You're gonna get, you know. So I have really mixed feelings about that whole thing. So now I think I think I need to watch this movie. And then Clearly. don't get off the you, path, that thing. Right. Yeah, don't, don't stray from the path. Yeah, don't talk to strange, yeah. you know, strange man and yeah, all this sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the, the thing that they turn on its head in this movie with that trope is you, the grandmother, uh, the matriarch, almost is playing this overprotective role and trying to scare the girl into yeah. like, you know, the world is bad. You know, there's these wolves and you'll go to hell if you get eaten by wolves and just like she's eaten just... by wolves yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> you were a strange man but in a fun in a fun, yeah. in a fun way yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. such uh, a good film played by angela lansbury who's amazing yeah know. definitely uh, it's so good it's got a great score as well it's got david warner's in it um stephen ray is the the guy who pisses off on his wedding night okay. <laughs> comes back and turns into a werewolf it's got some great transformation sequences in it. oh yes all the um, transformation sequences are different no wolf changes the same in the movie which is fucking amazing yeah the and Stephen the... Ray one is incredible like it's the shot on the cover they usually use yeah. for the cover whoever the did the cover coming out of his mouth amazing. did an amazing yeah, it's like a metal that. cover it's so fucking awesome yeah <laughs> <laughs> but it also has this like the first time I saw it, so The Company of Wolves is actually another film that quite un, like unnerved me when I was a kid when I saw it first. I've got this thing, and part of my fascination with werewolves is people with animal heads really, <laughs> really freak me out. All right. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> like if you've seen like The Wicker Man where they wear those like animal masks and things, I'm just not into it. I mean, I am into it because I love horror, but they, they freak me out. Um, You're happy to dress up as a werewolf, by the way. You're happy to do that to other yeah, people. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, but the Company of Wolves just had has a lot of scenes that, especially as a kid, when I didn't really understand them, just mm -hmm. were very strange and eerie. Like the wedding scene really freaked me out. There's a scene uh, where, yeah. incredible scene where there's this like wedding it's like big sort of victorian maybe wedding it's all like in a white pavilion all these people with, with their wigs and you know all this stuff and um this woman uh basically comes and puts a curse on them and they all turn into wolves it's this crazy like wedding scene where they all wow. just like all their wigs come off and there's like wolves and it's so cool 
Yeah, um, they're just, they're freaked me stuff. out as a kid though i was like i don't understand what i'm looking at <laughs> yeah, they're it's like high society dogs eating and the musicians yes. still have to play in the middle they're of still this. playing yeah, yeah they're, they're just still in the background the playing and, and these dogs are <laughs> so good. wait are they, so are they werewolves too no they're, playing? they're, they're just do, people oh. no they do i think they do turn us i think they oh, do wow. as well that's so cool no 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 but yeah they're, they're kind of they're just there watching the wolves i just that's even better and, and the woman so, who comes so is pre- like the dude who's got married that's his right. mistress that's she's mistress, pregnant yeah, yeah. and that's why she's there pissed off oh yeah. right because yeah. he left her and she's like yeah. you know you are but that's dogs like or whatever that's like a three minute aside because yeah. it's a story that somebody tells yeah. in the movie so it's just like this little vignette okay. that you get that's so cool is that why all the transitions were different do you think yeah. to just show that they're all the different stories okay cool mm-hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, really creative. That's cool. Um, Surreal yeah. at times for sure because it's totally fantasy, so it's cool. Yeah. 80s fantasy. Like when Angela Lansbury's yeah. head gets take, like gets torn off and it just it shatters into uh, like, like porcelain. porcelain or something. Yeah, it's yeah. so cool. Yeah, yeah. It's really cool. It's it, it, Yeah, it's, it's very, very cool. It's got like, it's got great lines in it. Like it's, it's incredibly well written as well. Because uh, I always remember the she says the worst wolves are hairy on the inside. Well, that always sticks yeah. with me. Like, <laughs> well, this okay. Whoa. Did you know that this was the thing that they thought though, as well? Like in medieval times, they thought that the hair was on the inside and then it yeah. like pops out. And yeah, like yeah. apparently, this judge like chopped off this dude's arms and legs because he said he was a werewolf and that's why he was killing people. Yeah. And then there was no hair in the inside. Like, uh oh. <laughs> no. Oopsie. Too late. So my mom to this day still believes that if you're if your eyebrows meet in the middle, right, you are a werewolf. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> She'll look at you if your oh, eyebrows no. meet, she's like, There's something wrong with you. I think oh, you're a wolf. Really? I think that's what <laughs> happened to me. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Besides yeah. the silver bullet wax, both things work. Silver bullet or wax, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> uh, what else have we got? What was Where that? are we up to? Uh, number three, company yeah. ones. Number two is Ginger Snaps. I oh, love nice. Ginger Snaps. Such a good movie. Such a fucking wow. movie. I, that's really I cool. think Gen- Ginger Snaps is a masterpiece. I think it's incredible. Uh, I, it's amazing that like it's made in 2000 and there had not been... A werewolf movie made to my knowledge that linked werewolves with the menstrual cycle like <laughs> that was that was so funny so obvious though but right like it's incredible how could you not it's, do that come on yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah but it was like that just made me laugh so much as a woman like that everyone was like she's on her period like yeah. it's the and they same call it, they, they call it the werewolf. curse and all that. Like, right right, right. right. Well, yeah. I think other so films, so much overlap. Well, it was indirect. Like in a company of wolves, it's indirect that she's going through this change. Like, right. it's it's very symbolic that she's going, but it's not direct. Like Ginger Snaps is just like, yeah, this it's not is like happening. This is, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, no, that's that's true. That yeah, but really not. Certainly, yeah, not as as in the text of it. Yeah, um, definitely not. I think the leads are great. Emily Emily Perkins, Catherine Isabel, I think, uh, are really good. <laughs> Uh, I think the werewolf's really unusual. It's like an albino werewolf. Yeah, um, it's super cool. Great. Yeah. And again, crucially, they don't show it very much. But there is one shot at the end when they're in the basement, where it jumps up on a table. Yeah. And that shot sells it for me. The whole thing because it's a guy in a suit, but it's they just cut it just right, and it looks really natural, and it looks like it's not on a wire or anything like that. It just yeah. looks like an an animal jumped on a table. Uh, super cool. Yeah. Um, it's really, really funny. Like, it's really well written. It's really it is smart. so funny. Like, it's when the mom, fair. like, the delicately crazy. puts the yeah. fingers in the Tupperware, that was Shut so up. funny. And then she's <laughs> taking it into the party. I'm like, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's such a good But it was film. also so many sad moments, too. Like, when the mom yeah. was like, oh, well, everyone's just going to blame me anyway. I was like, oh. Right. Where she's in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah or the cool. husband-wife dynamic, that thing that they showed yeah. early on, that was like, what the fuck? yeah and she's like he's just not gonna understand (laughs) but the poor guy like at some point he was like i think they're up to something you know like he was onto it and she's like oh no (laughs) they're just teenage girls (laughs) yeah Yeah. so good yeah like it's got really great gore as well 
Like yeah. It's super gory and really well done. Yeah. Um, it's just really good. It's a really solid, really great werewolf movie. I was really worried about the start of it. I was like, oh, no, this is so cheesy. This is so, like, cliche that they're, like, you know, the outcasts and they're doing all this, like, let's, you know, commit suicide together. And I'm like, oh, come on, whatever. But then, it like, yeah. from there, it just went. Well, this was 2000. Really yeah. It's, like, yeah. super 2000. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. This was, uh, Heathers came out, yeah. uh, Mean that Girls, was 90s, all that wasn't shit. It? But, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Heathers. It was playing off of that, yeah. kind of. Yeah. Like. Um, there are two sequels. Um, I saw that. Like, is it number the, three the, a prequel kind of? I yes, thought it was. Ginger snaps back, which is a clever title. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ginger snaps two is called Unleashed, which is not so clever. No. Uh, the cover of which looks like a uh, like a women wrestling. Co- it's a very bad. Cover. Oh no. Um, they're not bad actually. The, I watched both of them last week. Um, oh. like rewatched, rewatched both of them. Um, the second one is pretty good. It's got a very young, um, uh, oh god, um, Tatiana Mas- Maslany, is that her name? Um, from Orphan Black, and she was recently uh, yeah. like She Hulk yeah. and stuff. She's she's great. She's like 15, 16 in it, maybe it might be her first role. Um, the the two lead cast members are in both of them, so it has that continuity. Mm. Um, and they're Decent enough. Neither of them are great. The second one's better than the the prequel one. Uh, the prequel one has some slightly dodgy Native American mysticism stuff, which hasn't oh. aged uh. very well. If you're like, oh, you don't need to do that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I quite like the second. The second one's quite weird. It goes in a slightly odd direction. Um, mm. uh, Emily it is Emily Perkins. So Bridget <laughs> um, ends up in a. Uh, like an institute, kind of. Uh, and there's this whole thing where there's another werewolf that knows she's around and it's hunting her. So it's kind of like It Follows, but with a werewolf. Okay. Hmm. And it's just like, it's going to find you eventually. Um, and then she makes friends with this character called Ghost, who is Tatiana Maslany, and they escape. And it's, it ends up being this kind of house defense thing where they go to a house and they're trying to defend it from a werewolf and stuff. It's quite good. Mm-hmm. Uh, but neither of them are nearly as good as the first one unfortunately they, they don't <laughs> it's in the it's in the writing it's it, they just don't have the it's not a sharp sharply written basically mm. yeah there was some really god i'm just remembering like there was that scene of because she made the 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 guy the dodgy jock guy mm-hmm. a werewolf and then there's just this scene where bridget goes to find him to test the you know to to try yeah, to yeah, fix yeah. him, right? Just and he's attacking a kid that's dressed as a, a a cat or something. He's in a he's in a yeah. cat suit or something, and he's attacking the kid. And I'm like, this is so random. Uh, <laughs> oh, it was really fun. And then yeah, the 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 tail thing was her. She was trying to strap it with tape to her leg. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's got some decent like body horror in there as well. Yeah, which is the not shaving. something you usually get with a werewolf. Yeah, usually a werewolf was just like you know. It's full moon, and I transform, and, yeah. and there we go. And like it's got some proper, again. proper body horror. Yeah, uh, which is unusual. Uh, yeah, and number one, as uh, surprise to nobody, is yeah. an American werewolf in London. The movie, which is possibly, probably, also my favorite movie of all time. Like, okay, wow, not not wow. just werewolves. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, it's incredible. It's probably the most, for me, the most watchable movie ever. It and Jaws, mm. probably, right? One of those movies that I'll, it's over before I know it. You know, it's, it's like, I'll watch this scene, I'll watch that scene. This bit's great, this bit's great. Oh, it's over. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> um, just trying to relish uh, it, but it goes too quickly, that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, it's, it's just like, goes from scene to scene to scene to scene real, real quick. It's really funny. It's got really good horror in it as well i think the opening scene is incredible where they go to the pub and i think that like landscape of the 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 moors and stuff is is amazing uh i watched this when i would have been 10 maybe Hmm. uh at a friend's house with i watched this and robocop for the same day very (laughs) very formative day for me (laughs) Um, and it just burned its way in into me, like as I was watching it. 
I, I, there are a few films that I've watched in my life that when I watch them, as I'm watching them, I can feel like my brain being rewired, <laughs> like in right. real time. Yeah. Like it's just like, I'm never going to be the same after watching this. Uh, and American Werewolf in London is one of those. The, I mean, the transformation sequence is astounding. Like to this day, nothing has ever come close to it. It's incredible. Um, is that what started uh, your whole werewolf thing as well? As a side note, was that um, like were you like I need to watch every werewolf movie to see if they're this good? I think American Werewolf was probably what started my fascination with werewolf movies. I mm -hmm. think I I always found wolves and werewolves in the woods kind of scary as a kid. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of I was predisposed to be affected by it, I guess, but. Mm -hmm. De definitely it's definitely started me on a path of watching werewolf movies yeah it might have been the first that scene actually which is quite late because i watched a ton of horror movies as a kid yeah um, and i were i actually thought i was younger but um i think i was about 10 when i saw american werewolf um it's incredible the opening song of american werewolf in london which is blue moon sung by bobby vinton was our first dance at our wedding Oh, that's, wow. that's, that's cool. how much I love that that's movie. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> My wow. wife likes it too. But. Okay, good. <laughs> that's lucky. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, it's great. The cast is amazing. It's got Muppets in it. It's incredible. It is amazing. It's tragic. Tragic enough? It is absolutely a tragedy. Like, yeah. 100%. Really delivers on that. Uh, on multiple levels of tragedy. <laughs> Yeah, very much so. It has a very sad ending, but it's also comically juxtaposed with another rendition of Blue Moon by the Marcells, um, which is just like this little uh, punchline at the end. Um, it's it's incredible. It has not just the werewolf effects, the, the makeup effects of his friend David, as he, or his friend Jack, as he comes back. Mm -hmm. So his, his, his friend is, is killed on the moors and he's bitten. Okay. But his friend comes back to warn him that he's going to become a werewolf, like to tell him to kill himself and all this sort of stuff. Hmm. So that's also very sad. It's yeah. very funny because he's a funny character. Yeah. But it's also very sad because he's just like, I'm really sorry. I don't want to have to do this to you, but you have to understand this is a real thing that's happening. You're going to yeah. kill, you're going to turn into a werewolf. You're going to kill people. Every time he comes back, he comes back three times in the movie. He's more decomposed. Oh wow! Like the the first one, uh, he's su it's super gory. He's got this like big wound in his neck, and there's all these like jangly bits hanging out of him. Uh... And on the second one, he's all like kind of dried up and dusty. And the third one, he's a full on puppet. He's like a skeleton right. thing in yeah. in the in the cinema scene. Um, it's great. It's an unhinged movie. Like the scenes in it where you just like how how did they like? There's a scene in a porno theater, okay. which is like. It's such that it's there's like five or six different tones going on. Right? Really? <laughs> yeah, it's really sad. It's really funny. Some of it's quite scary. And then there's like, you could just hear this porno movie going on. <laughs> it's very strange. Um, it's, I think it's the most distinct werewolf movie of all. I think it's the one, like, you can never, and they tried with American Werewolf from Paris, you could never repeat that. You could take mm -hmm. the howling. And if they weren't all oh shit, you could make good <laughs> sequels to The Howling. You could make more good werewolf howling movies. Yeah. You could do that with Dog Soldiers. They've kind of done it with Ginger Snaps. I don't think you can do it with American Werewolf. I think it's too mm -hmm. much its own thing. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's nothing else like it. It's incredible. So should I leave that one to last? I don't know that. Well, you don't so want to. You don't want to. You might run out of steam if, if you watch lots of bad ones. <laughs> it's definitely one you could watch several times. You know, during a year, yeah. it's if it's ever on, I'll watch it for sure. Any yeah. point, if I see it partly on, I will watch it. It's so good. Yeah. It's just amazing. It's got these great dream sequences in it, which are really creative and cool. Um, yeah, it's it's incredible. I and it has some really good actual horror scenes like i think the scene in the subway is incredible mm -hmm. there's a scene so there's uh, when he transforms for the first time there's like a montage of not a montage but these little vignettes of like his victims throughout london some of which are very funny um but there's there's one of just this businessman who gets off a subway train and then he just hears this like low rumbling growling you don't see the wolf at all i mean you see it a little bit at one point 
but he's just like running from it through this deserted tube station and uh yeah it's really it's really good i've been to that tube station it's just great oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, wow. yeah. yeah yeah um yeah it's super cool so that yeah that's that is my top 10 werewolf movies i feel like your favorites are more like the central character is the werewolf generally yes most of those right yeah well the com company of wolves is the, is the outlier I, uh, yeah, yeah true yeah um yeah i guess so hmm. Interesting. trying to understand the werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so silver bullet isn't on my list I, yeah because mo when you um posted your list uh yeah silver bullet was the one that jumped out i was like that's not on my list and also i think you had ginger snaps much lower down uh, they weren't in in a real particular order and a lot of oh, that okay. was all from memory because i wasn't right. uh i haven't gone back to watch silver bullet yet but i remember yeah. younger i liked it uh right. american where well just to go back to american werewolf in london for a second mm -hmm. that was that one um the thing john carpenter's the thing and the original movie, the original 50s, uh, I think it was 50s. Uh, what is it? Uh, it's in one of the original alien movies. Body Snatchers? No, 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 no. This was just uh, uh, Orson Welles did the. Uh, oh, the, War of the Worlds. Yeah, War of the Worlds, the original mm -hmm. vi uh, 50s video version or whatever. So those three were the first uh, nightmares I had. From those three movies because i oh, really? walked in on my so dad the, watching so, parts of this so that's the war is that the war of the worlds with the not the tripods the floating yeah right okay yeah, so I, I specifically had the color one. nightmares yeah. about those floaty things right and wow. then also the transformation scene where the dog turns into uh long stringy things in the thing sure where the dog gets it gets mixed a transformation into the alien and then yeah. also the dog soldier version of the dream sequences where you had the werewolf war mark right. things. The SS. Yeah. The SS uh, werewolves. Yeah. Yeah. Those are my original in the, three in the, in nightmares. The, in the home? Like where they where they come into the home and... Yeah. Like through right. the window okay. and shit and start shooting. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those things scared the crap out of me. I can just remember the faces. and But yeah. I was a little bitty kid. I was like maybe five or six years old. Yeah. yeah. My dad was watching this and I just happened to come in several different times where he's watching horror movies. I guess he watched a lot of horror movies because... Those yeah. three scenes scared me until I was probably eight or nine. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, if, that's funny. In fact, I looked for what was that movie? You know, as a kid, I was like, what's that movie with the werewolf soldier guys? And then I finally found out what the movie was and I got to watch it. And I was like, fuck, this thing is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what's your I... top 10, Mo? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Uh, it's whatever I posted. I haven't gone back. I need to go back. Uh, it was mostly about Ian's top 10 because he had he is the werewolf guy. I just kind of made right. a top 10. I remember Ginger Stamps was really good. Of course, American Werewolf in London, you can't beat it. Um, mm. I remember Silver Bullet, like I said, being a little bit better. Um, uh, I had the lots of people, lots of people really like Silver Bullet. I should say, I'm, I'm probably an outlier in that for someone who likes werewolf movies and doesn't particularly like Silver Bullet. <laughs> and I like the it idea as well. Like yeah. Oh, in the howling! I like the very the ending. I didn't like the Chihuahua dog, but the fact that they kill her on the TV, dog. <laughs> and that the original werewolf at the very beginning, that they're it's like a crime thing where they're trying to find a serial killer kind of yeah. little thing. That part was really cool. Um, in the howling, and then uh, I had the movies confused. I thought it was a Scandinavian movie, the were movie. It wasn't that movie. It was the the coming of age movie. That when was, animals dream, yeah, yeah. When animals dream, that movie I thought was really good. Mm. Uh, and the the one where the I forgot the name of it already. The one in the that had the werewolf guy that's not a werewolf. Uh, that we oh, the wolf of, of Snow Hollow. Yeah, the wolf yeah. of Snow Hollow. Yeah. That also was just a good movie. Uh, but there's yeah. no werewolf in it. No, I would like to count. Um, the other, that French film, uh, we just spoke about it as well. The one that they didn't have the a werewolf. Bro Brotherhood of the Wolf. Yeah, Brotherhood of the Wolf. I wish that was a werewolf movie because it was so cool. It yeah. came like a little bit after, I think, the he Matrix. He even drew a picture of a werewolf in it. 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There's a bit where he's he's like he's like a sketch artist, and he's asking, yeah. he's getting like there's a witness telling him what he looks like, and he's like, does it look like this? And it shows a picture <laughs> of a cool werewolf, and I'm like, shit, I hope it looks like that. That's amazing. <laughs> Did not look like that. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. At the very beginning of the movie, there's like wire work. That was like when wire work was really popular yeah. at the time. So there's yeah, this wire right, work right fight scene. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Very cool. Very anime movie, actually, in it. Yeah. 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 Like the, 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 um, Vincent Casal's character is very anime, <laughs> <laughs> especially at the end. He's got this dodgy sword thing. Um, I have some honorable mentions, some of which we talked about. Uh, yeah, the Howling Three is the most honorable mention ever. Everybody should watch that. It should, <laughs> it should be on the curriculum in Australia, I believe. Mm. Uh, Late Phases is quite good. That's about that. a guy in a retirement home. He's blind. Uh, he gets there's a werewolf attack at the very start, like right at the start. Um, and then he figures out real quick it's a werewolf. Like <laughs> it's refreshingly quick. He's like, it, <laughs> it was big, it was really strong. And then someone says, "Oh, it must be crazy." He's on the full moon. He goes, "Ah, oh, I get it. It's a werewolf." <laughs> 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 nice. So it's kind of like he says, "All right, it's going to be back in a month. I have a month to prepare." So he prepares himself to kill the werewolf. It's quite good. It's pretty goofy looking werewolves, but not pretty enjoyable film. I'd recommend that. Um, the Beast Must Die. Have you seen that? Hmm. No. Um, Sarah, I'm going to assume you haven't seen it. It's, a bit, of a, it's a bit of a deep cut of a werewolf movie. Oh, okay. I don't think I've seen it. The Beast Must Die is not great, but it's it's definitely worth a watch. It's basically Clue, if you've seen the movie Clue. Oh, I've heard um, of this film. I have heard but of it. But with a werewolf. It's it's yeah. this guy who, who brings all these people to his house and says, one of you is a werewolf. And the rest of you is the job. <laughs> Find out who the werewolf is. The funniest thing about it is it has this thing called the werewolf break in the movie. Yeah, I've heard of this actually. This, af the one after, thing. You, you can, you can so find bad. this on YouTube. After it's after like the premise is explained, the movie stops. And this voice comes on going, this is the werewolf break. Uh, later in the film, we will give you a break and you will have to decide who the werewolf is and all this sort of stuff. So watch out for <laughs> the clues. Cool. Like it's a play along at home thing. Yeah, right. And then right before they they reveal who the werewolf is, <laughs> this big clock comes in and goes, this is the werewolf break. <laughs> <laughs> that is so <laughs> cool. Yeah, it's so dumb. But it, <laughs> it's it's not like anything else. So it's worth, it's yeah. worth a watch. Uh, the Ginger Snap sequels we talked about. The Wolfman remake we didn't really talk about a little bit. I think it's pretty good. I think it's got a pretty strong atmosphere. Uh, the sort of classical design of the Wolfman I think is, is pretty good. Uh, it's got some good werewolfy scenes. It's a bit long. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, Brotherhood of the Wolf. We talked about Howl. Have you seen Howl? I don't think I have. Howl is werewolves on a train. It's trained oh. to Busan with a werewolf, <laughs> more oh, than wow. one werewolf. Yeah, it's an English movie. Um, it's uh, it's pretty good. It's a uh, train derails, crash, something happens, something on the tracks uh, in the middle of nowhere. There's werewolves. It's pretty good. Uh, the werewolves themselves, not super werewolfy. Oh. But I think pretty good. that one is on Prime right now, I think. I think I saw it's, the... Too. It's one of the more recent ones. I think it's pretty available. Uh, where we talked about, that's the German one. It's mm -hmm. okay, but not great. Um, and What We Do in the Shadows has some very funny werewolves in it. Oh, yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's really funny. Which I like a lot. There are so many more, uh, but there aren't that many more that I can think of that really distinguish themselves. Like there are more than just another werewolf movie. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you've got, you know, you've got the Underworld movies. You've got, there's tons. Oh, what? That's um, what I was going to bring up. The whole mm -hmm. war between the vampires and the werewolves. Like, was that just some kind of publicity thing that started? Where did that come about? And why? That's not, I don't think that's, I mean, classically, that's not really a thing. I, I mean, you could say. It's definitely not a mythological thing, right? Like, it's no, definitely no, no. not. Right. No, so... no, no. You, you, I mean, the, the. <laughs> Probably, I mean, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman had Frankenstein and the Wolfman in it, and then yeah. Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein had the Wolfman and Frankenstein's monster <laughs> and Dracula in it, right? 
which is also amazing. If you ever want to laugh, that's a phenomenal film. Um, so it is. It's like but, a publicity thing. It's like these. Are your, yeah. It's got a, your favorites. Like if you like werewolves, yeah. it's got werewolves. If you like vampires, it's got vampires. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. make a whole lot of sense to me. It, well, it's fine. It, it's not particularly interesting to me because werewolves and vampires are only interesting in that they're sort of th thematically interesting. Mm. You know, I mean, werewolves are cool and they're big monsters and they eat people, so that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, specifically, werewolves, I think uh, you know the best films do something with that. Yeah. Uh, and if it's werewolves fighting vampires, then all of that's just gone out the window you know right. it's like just a monster fights a monster it's like godzilla i mean i like godzilla but yeah like godzilla fights king kong it's like, okay but that's not that's lost the thematic uh beauty of king kong and godzilla right it's right. just two monsters fighting each other yeah uh so to me not not really very interesting i yeah but that's so that's the um uh, um underworld thing right yeah underworld. Where was the vampires? i've yeah. seen yeah. two of those i think Mm -hmm. I don't remember them very well. I think I have too. I've seen the first one. I know I've definitely seen the first one. And I remember the werewolves were kind of painted as like kind of the good guys, really. Yeah, and that thing. I don't, I don't, I don't remember. They yeah. were like the ones responding to the whole thing. And I thought that right. was interesting that the werewolves were like the ones that were. Right, because vampires suck blood. They, they need human. They're like, you know, parasites. They need right, but they always blood. seem like they're the intelligent one that doesn't want to fight or whatever. Like they, you mm. know. Mm. And werewolves are like kind of crazy, so it yeah. was interesting that they put that on its head, kind of they flipped the script on that. Well, like Ian was saying, like the the whole uh, vampire, the, like vampires are meant to be like like sexy and yeah. intimate, like the whole biting thing, whole getting close to you, like you said, smart and all that. And then you take yeah. a, a wolf, which is like the inner inner demons in people or it's uh psychologically going crazy or whatever it, it is this transformation from human to beast yeah. and then yeah. like you're saying when you when they fight each other that doesn't make any sense at all it's just two animals going it's at like, it yeah let's throw them in the pit and watch them fight each other kind of thing yeah i mean so, i mean i guess you could say you know vampires are typically the more sort of socially refined killer right. like you know right they're a bit more dapper usually yeah <laughs> so i mean this this i guess there's stuff to be mined there but i don't know if the underworld films really did that from what i saw i think it was more post matrix let's yeah. make an action movie action movie yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It, it did have guns in it didn't it mm -hmm. yeah yeah they shot yeah that's i'm thinking of a different movie i'm thinking of the UV ultraviolet where they shot ultraviolet bullets at, at vampires. Oh right, yeah. Um, other werewolf stuff. Lots of other werewolf stuff. Not much really. Yeah. Um, uh, so we talked about briefly about Cycle of the Werewolf, which is the Stephen King book. Yeah. Uh, that uh, Silver Bullet is based on. One of my favorite werewolf stories ever is a Judge Dredd story. Oh right, okay. Called, hmm. cr called Cry of the Werewolf. Like as in the comic. The comic yeah. Judge Red. Yeah. 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 Cry it's really werewolf. cool. I love it. It's got a super cool werewolf design because it's a comic. It doesn't need to yeah. you know, look great. Also, Neil Adams did a, a story called Monsters, which is a crossover. It's got Frankenstein's monster and all this, but it's got a really cool werewolf in it. Like, probably if I designed like what I think a werewolf should look like, it looks like Neil Adams' werewolf because it works mm -hmm. really well when it's standing up, but it can also go on four legs and it still looks cool. Very cool. Oh, actually, one of the things just on that is the wolf yeah. movie that I watched that you guys haven't seen. Uh -huh. Like, I don't know how I managed that, but um, <laughs> <laughs> he, like, they chose, you know, the actor for the role had like the perfect body for it because the way he like he kept crawling around on all fours, and the yeah. way he like moved his like shoulder blades so wolf like. It was so oh, yeah? cool how he did that. Yeah, oh, it was cool. always I'll worth it just for that. Yeah. Uh, and final mention is Oz from Buffy. Super cool werewolf. Okay. I don't know if any of you have watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer. No, but... I, I, I refuse to. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not really into like comedy, sitcom -y, horror mix. I know. I, I, fine. <laughs> fine. I know. I feel like we. I mean, we I wouldn't. Out I wouldn't necessarily then. recommend somebody watch it now, but at the time, yeah. Yeah. I had a okay, friend that so, was massively into it, always telling me to watch it. What I'd like to say is, okay, so in Car is it uh, what's her Ann Carter? Is that her name? 
Angela Carter. Angela Carter. When she did, uh, I, I listened to, I did the audio book today of A Company of Wolves. And at the oh, end cool. of it, where she says, um, I think she says that uh, Christmas is the birthday of the vampire. I mean, birthday of the werewolf or wolf birthday is like, I think it's, I think it's uh, Christmas is, is right. the wolf birthday or something like that. Right. Anyway, okay. so I was thinking we should get together in a year's time, more like <laughs> December. Or at Christmas, and, yeah. Oh yeah, around Christmas E and talk and yeah. come back with with other films that we've seen maybe and see some some really obscure stuff cuz there's a I know there's a, like a a Japanese film that's a werewolf movie that I want to see there's a, some things that you've mentioned and there's a lot yeah. of stuff that's that's a little newer that was direct to streaming services that I have not seen so yeah I'd like to come back in a year and and see what you guys have Christmas is a good time Christmas is traditionally a, a time for ghost stories yeah yeah where the old Christmas traditions I really love. Yeah. I tell yeah. my kids ghost stories at Christmas. They're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, have, we have a big Halloween tradition here. We watch horror movies all Halloween, read horror stories and stuff like that. And then as soon as it's over, I'm like, oh, it's Christmas. Quick ghost stories. I'm like, <laughs> <"Leave us alone." laughs> That's so cool. So to tie it to, to board games, uh, okay. Before we get into One Night Werewolf and all that stuff that, that I'm not a real big fan of, but I, you guys can talk about it, whatever. Um, yep. There was a wolf, uh, uh, I think it was called Rage. It was a CCG that was mm -hmm. a wolf uh, CCG. I never got to play it, though. It was made by White Wolf, I think, as well. Oh, okay. Remember? So it's related to the World of Darkness thing, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know, funnily enough, I don't know a huge amount so they had Vampire the Masquerade. That's I'm thinking of the right thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, originally had... called like back in the day, it was called Jihad when it first came out. I remember okay. we bought sure. that stuff. Yeah. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, it was called Jihad. That pretty quick. Yeah, they changed it to Vampire. Yeah. Right, and then there was a werewolf version of that, sort of as well, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. I don't know a huge amount about that. And are they? I don't like... know if they're any good. Yeah. And are like... the werewolves like? It's a society of werewolves, I assume. Yeah, it's a society okay. of wolves, but I don't know very much about it. I just know that like we we got some of the cards, and I don't think anybody ever really played it. Like, typically, werewolf stuff doesn't take on. You know, like people don't yeah. embrace it as much as they do with vampires. Or maybe oh, it just wasn't no, a good not game. Even, <laughs> yeah, vamp vampires are in a different stratosphere, I think. Really? Yeah. Vampires are, like, more popular? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if, like... Yeah, <laughs> um, there are so many vampire things. Like uh, at, at this point, when you say, if I say to you, it's a werewolf movie. For the most part, the sort of idea you have of what that movie is is pretty yeah. accurate. You know, broad strokes, pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. If I say it's a vampire movie, mm. that's not the case anymore. There's so many vampire movies. Like, like a, a vampire takes. movie is pretty much that has a vampire in it is a vampire movie, right? As yeah. opposed to as opposed to one that follows the tropes of, let's say, Dracula, right? Yeah. There's just so much on TV yeah. and everything as well. Like, yeah. I mean, I know we, I know we have Teen Wolf on TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <there's> that. <laughs> I guess that's what makes it cool, right? That's what makes the werewolf thing cool, that it's a little bit more underground. I'm just underground not a huge, and... a huge vampire guy. I mean, I like vampire movies. I like the good ones, but it probably says a lot. My favorite. Oh, no, he... Uh... Oh, I, yeah, he dropped out. Oh, no, dropped we lost out. him. Oh, no. Hopefully he'll it come back. It was doing back. so well. It was doing so well. Maybe he'll come back, hopefully, and I'll be able to fix it quickly. <laughs> it's two of me instead. Hey! Did he come back? Yes. I can um, see him. Oh, okay. Let me see if I can fix it. Yeah. Oops. Not like that. At the moment, there's two of me <laughs> instead. <laughs> That's too many, too many Sarahs. Can you hear us, Ian? I don't know if I'm going to be able to fix this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Do you have to let him in? No, oh, he's in. Oh, I can't hear him. I can't hear him either. I got Ian's face on the screen. 
which is good. And then I'm about to have hopefully yours. Okay. Oh, nope, that's another Ian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so there's that. He left and came back. We might end up having to end there. I don't know. Oh, okay. We'll have to see. Hmm. I can see him again. Hello. Hi. Yes. Hi. I can hear you. Okay. So let, all right, so let me see if I can fix it on screen, which would be cool. If I can, it'll be amazing. Oh, it's two of me again. Why oh, is it two okay. Of me? Cool. I've got it fixed. All right. It'll fix in a moment. There we go. Cool. Amazing. So where were we at? Vampire stealing the limelight. That's right. Right. Okay. Yeah. So on stealing that, I, I wish Fury of the Vampire was our Fury of Dracula was a werewolf yep. hunting game. Okay. Not How not a not a vampire hunting game or something along like Letters of Whitechapel to be a little bit uh, on the vamp on the a werewolf type move uh, type of game. Yeah. I don't know how you would do it, but that's what I not, want from not a who werewolf. is the werewolf, just right. hunting Chase the werewolf. <laughs> yeah, hunting the werewolf okay. or being that, hunted by werewolves. Is that practically much different than chasing <laughs> a wendigo or something you know any any other sort of monster yeah it's a werewolf <laughs> <laughs> yeah to take silver bullets <laughs> sure i don't know i don't know but that's where i would start because that's what i want yeah. i don't like the the we need to find out who the werewolf in the room is kind of thing right but that's just i'm not a real big deduction type of person yeah. but if i were to do the deduction thing it is the original werewolf game not one night werewolf. I don't like one night werewolf. Oh, at all. how dare you! How dare yeah. you? Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. One night werewolf is so good. I it's love so, one night werewolf. So much game in such a small, like, quick time frame, and you never game? Know, like. I don't know about game. What? I don't understand. <laughs> I, I don't understand what your problem is. I do not get it. Like. So is is your problem that you cannot one hundred percent work out who the werewolf is? Right. Is that, that the issue? Yeah, that, that it's that's, not completely that's a broken it's not game, winnable. Right? Yeah, it's not winnable in all states. It is winnable in all states. You just gotta know what to say and when to say it. Right. That's and the you... that's the, okay. the thrill of it is navigating those eight to ten minutes and saying exactly the right thing or not at exactly the right time. That's right. that's what it is, because you have to figure out what you are likely to be listen to everybody else, figure out who knows what's going on, who doesn't, who's bullshitting, and then try and pitch yourself on the right side. Right, but there's a couple of so uh, things that, that can happen where that's impossible, where it's an impossibility. Yeah. And yes. that's the part that I don't find. It's, a, it's an impossibility to know for sure. Yes, 100%. But right. Mo, you love that stuff. You love reading people at the table. You love playing people, not the game. I just don't. I just <laughs> don't if, understand. If, this but is if exactly it was, what you like. if it was possible to work out 100 percent who it was at the table, every game would be exactly the same. You'd work it out, and then you'd know. Yeah. That that, that. It, it's a pressure luck kind of a thing. Then, you know, are you are you sure? How long is it going to take? Who's going to? So, be, in, in in depending on the roles in any game of One Night Werewolf, it's been a little while since I played it now, but. It's been a while. Usually, too. usually there's maybe two people. Usually, only one who has no idea who they are. <laughs> the right? drunk. The drunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The drunk's like, <laughs> I don't know yeah. what the fuck. But <laughs> there's a there's a couple of roles that you put in there that just fix. Like the the tanner fixes everything in One Night Werewolf because yeah. once the tanner's in, it just throws everything into doubt, and that's right. the, that's the fun of it. You're like, well, okay, if you're the tanner. I know why you're saying that. If you're not the tanner, I also know why you're saying that. Yeah. And then it's just like a, it's just like lovely little 10 minute burst of, I don't know, uh, just decisions and, and it's great. I love it. One yeah. of my favorite things in a social deduction game is when you are the spy or the werewolf or whatever, and the table is not onto you. I yeah. It's Love so it. good. It's so juicy. Especially, you know what? When someone is really like convinced that you're the goody too, and yeah. they're doing all the fucking work. Someone's you, on and your you're side. just like, and you're just like, yeah, yeah. Okay. it's so good. <laughs> and you just get, you just get to like insert these little, 
you just push towards these different people and you don't have to even be the bad guy you can just be like right. I don't know. They might be the werewolf. I'm not sure. <laughs> I <laughs> love it. It's delicious. So good. I yeah. One night werewolf particularly, I could play quite for quite a while. Like, yeah, and it gets cool. better. It gets better the more you play it with the same group. Yeah, I agree. I think we have to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not convertible in this. We basically uh, played it once, and then oh whenever we like, it it did it said something, and then I did the math, and I was like, look, this is an impossibility to find out who it is. So it's just a guess, and if it's just a guess, I'm not okay with this. So I'm done. Aww, you're making me so sad with this. <laughs> You're the only person I've ever heard who starts a game of One Night Werewolf with. Listen, guys, I did the math. It, yeah, <laughs> it, the it, math. it doesn't. It doesn't. It's not it possible. Yeah, it's not possible to find out 100. percent So I'm done. That's hilarious. So have you ever played a deduction game that ha like a a is it is that just social deduction in general? Then you don't like. Uh, I'm not a fan of social deduction. No. Um, have you yeah. have you played one that you, does work for you? I've played social deductions at work, <laughs> not for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, which one do you think works? Which one do you think uh, works? What is it? The what is it? The resistance works for what it is. It works. It is one. mathematically possible to figure it out. You know, as long as people know what they're doing. But um, like, as long as nobody fails. Um, that's not true though, because there yeah. is a random. There's a random element to that. Like you do throw in a, a random vote, right? So, it's not perfect information. No, it's not perfect information, but right. it's better information than is in One Night Werewolf. And people are still sure. lying to you. People are still lying yeah. to you in that. So, so it's the same thing. It's but the, the length of thing. the game. So Resistance is Link. a much longer game than yeah, One Night is. Werewolf. That doesn't. No, no, no. Well, okay, so. Like, I, I'm, for, I guess I'm just me, not a social deduction person, maybe. Yeah. For yeah. me, One Night Werewolf is like the perfect pitch of the amount of randomness, randomness with the game length. Hmm. Yeah. It's the perfect marriage of those two things. If it lasted as long as like a regular game of Werewolf, yeah, for instance, yeah. and it had that much randomness, I, you know, Werewolf itself is fun, but I'm not rushing to play it. It's too um, long. Yeah. It's too long for the amount of good juicy guesses <laughs> that right. you get that you get to do yeah um so deduction in general is it not your thing or have it's you just not my thing okay not so social but deduction. like a right but deduction in general like a letters of white chapel that's all that's fine no that's fine letters of okay. white chapel is fine or playing like a like a war game submarine game that's going to be a deduction as well but not sure. social deduction that's the problem Right, it's other other people. <laughs> yeah, it's the other people that are my problem. <laughs> but that's the weird thing is that you're always like, um, I love negotiation because of the other people. I do love negotiation. And I love There's no negotiation about what they're in... doing and what they're saying. You know, but that you can't apply those same skills is what I'm saying. In social there's deduction, you're stake. applying the same skills. Like, there's nothing at stake in One Night Werewolf. There's really nothing. At, I don't have like a pile of money. If I'm a werewolf, my life is at stake. So I disagree. <laughs> That's, <bad enough. laughs> That's quite a bit at stake. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess there's there's too much and not enough at stake. Maybe, like okay. I like my favorite game of all time is diplomacy. I love negotiation. Wow. Yeah. And it's not the social part that bothers me. It's this deduction mixed with social, mixed with <laughs> what do we have at stake here? What do we all really right. have at stake? Yeah. So it's also and, you don't you don't know what you have to bargain with necessarily. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. You you need yeah, those levers. That. Now, if someone's just going to lie to you and there's no you know there's no levers to twist or no there's nothing to leverage, then you, you might as well be playing random. For me, yeah. But when you convince somebody to do something, even though they probably know that they shouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. And or they know that there's not enough information for what you're saying to be perfectly true. Mm -hmm. It's it's great. <laughs> 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 when someone does it, you're like, oh, I think I convinced. Them. All right, okay. If yeah. if we can if we can all three be at the same place sometime, I will play it. I'll give y'all a chance to convince me. All right. And give, okay. You got you have 15 minutes. Okay, wow. but you can't sit there from the start being like, no. Yeah, no, I won't. no. Being one, like one, grumpy. one and a half games. <laughs> yeah, I'll play, <laughs> I'll play one and a half games, and I'll try to enjoy the hell out of it. Right. Okay. 
<laughs> and then we'll go from there. All right. You know That's I'm the best you're going to be like, Mo's a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> Done. <laughs> I don't trust him. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. The yeah. one thing we didn't talk about that I wanted to bring up was how werewolves do kill. That was the mm-hmm. one thing I wanted to bring up because I was like, it's so cool how they do it. It's so not personal. It's so like that. Like people get like thrown so far. They get scratched where you don't even see that. There's actually connect. They're not even connecting. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it all just happens so quickly. That's so as brutally. a as a kid. That's what scared me about werewolves. That's why yeah. I loved werewolves because they scared me the most. So zombies and vamp like vampires don't have never been in any way a source of horror for me. Right. Uh, even on a sort of conceptual level, right? But right. A, a werewolf, even more so than just a monster. I don't know why. I don't know what it is specifically about a werewolf. Um, but just like the the opening scene of American Werewolf in London, where they're on the moors and they can hear it circling them. Yeah, that's terrifying to me. You're just like, well, what do you? There's nowhere you can go. What are you gonna do? Like, yeah. and it's just gonna pick one of you and it's gonna rip you to bits. <laughs> it's Whoa. just like it's horrible. Yeah. Maybe that does have to be my next one. I was joking oh. with Mo that after the, like I had some design ideas and I was going to design tonight and I was like, I'm going to end up watching the Werewolf movies <laughs> instead and <laughs> do nothing productive. <laughs> Werewolf in London's short. It's a tight, like 90 minutes. Oh, okay. Well. Oh, that's yeah, cool. Real short. The other thing that I was, that I forgot earlier is the whole thing about how you kill werewolves. Cause usually it's a uh-huh. lineage thing. You've got like, if this werewolf makes this person a werewolf, makes this person a werewolf, you got to kill the original werewolf. Like in the most yeah. tragic oh, ones, cool. there is no saving the werewolf. Like in the most no. tragic ones, some Tough dude gets kill. bit, yeah. he's fucked. There's nothing you can do about yeah. it. In the lame ones, yeah. it's usually, well, you got to kill the main werewolf. And then it's kind of like the vampire thing. If you yeah, kill the main bullshit. one, it'll, yep. yeah, it'll go Everyone down. Everyone else dude. will be okay kind of thing. Yeah, but yeah, in almost like all werewolf movies, the werewolf ends up dying. At the mm. end, yes. in some tragic way, it's like part of the tragedy of the sh- of the film. Yeah, yeah, I think that's probably one of the mainstays as well. Of for, you asked me before, like what makes a werewolf movie? Yeah, a good one. I think the werewolf, for the most part, there are exceptions like everything, but I think the werewolf needs to die at the end. Yeah. What I don't like is the chemical uh, where they try to like take shots or something to subdue. This the the changing, you know, they're like trying some chemical way, some scientific way to stop them from turning into a werewolf. I've never liked that idea. Cause it's I didn't like, mind that in, in Ginger Snaps. I don't, I don't yeah, want every werewolf. I don't want every movie to do it. I didn't mind it in Ginger Snaps. Yeah, I thought Ginger Snaps was kind of cool. How they had like the flower and like it was, they took a totally different Spain, yeah. direction. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Wolf Spain. I guess that's not totally different. That's a yeah. thing. That's yeah, a thing the, they like, believed in real life, right? Yeah. Worked. There's some films, yeah. and I can't remember what they are, but they actually, like, you see some dude with some beakers, and he's trying to cook up some chemicals, <laughs> and he's trying to, like, stop himself right. be- from becoming a werewolf or whatever, and it's this oncoming thing, ongoing thing where he can't fi- figure it out, you know? I hate that part of the werewolf thing. But right. I love the, uh, I turned into a werewolf. Um, I think it. I'm a werewolf. I'm not sure. <laughs> Okay. And then your family kind of gets killed. As you're trying to kill. <laughs> your family kind of gets killed. <laughs> yeah, I love that stuff. An unexplained animal attack. Yeah, unexplained animal attacks. But like in Bad Moon. Oh, might have uh, been a bear. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, we have funny. so many films to watch now. There's so many other films to watch. Yeah. Yeah, there are lots. I... Yeah, don't do the Howling sequel. I mean, again, watch Howling 3. The rest of them you can skip. Either so you terrible. would suggest so Howling 1 and, and Howling 3? 1 and 3, yep. I put on 4 and the dubbing, is like, it's not uh, the, uh, they, I guess they went from VHS back to digital and yeah. it is so blurry and nasty. It's it's horrible. <laughs> it is so bad. I When I was in college, um, there was a little video shop um by the train station of the town that i lived in and i think it was all like dodgy you know copies and stuff like that i don't think any of it was legit <laughs> and they had all of the howling sequels, at least all of them that were out at the time i, I think there's been some since 
uh, and I rented them all one night, and I watched oh my God. them all over a weekend. Oh wow! Holy crap! I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it. That's time you'll never get back. <laughs> no. uh, we'll have to leave soon, but I got a quick question. Do you think there is any? Can, do you remember any werewolf video games? I know yes. there's some, but I don't know. Yeah, what they I are. do actually. Um, one of the so there's a series called Gabriel Knight, which is a I think it's Lucas Arts. It's a point and click adventure. Ooh. Um, really, really good. The first one is called Sins of the Fathers, which is probably the better one. Mm -hmm. And it's about this guy who's like a, a, a almost like a John Constantine character. He's not magical, but he's like investigates sort of weird supernatural things mm -hmm. uh it's really funny it's got like good puzzles in it uh so the first one is like a new orleans voodoo murder type of thing and the second one which is called the beast within takes place in germany and it's a full motion video video game wow hmm. cool um and it is about werewolves and it's nice i mean i played it when i was quite young but i remember mm. it being really good mm. really i remember good, really good story really really, really good yeah, I might check that out because I remember the LucasArts point and click, like the Blade Runner one was so amazing. I yeah, you can definitely that. get you can definitely get the first Gabriel Knight game. Okay. Um, I mean, it's showing its age, obviously, mm -hmm. like the first like the first Monkey Island games are now, but right, it's it's still really good. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you can get the second one. They made I think one, maybe two more, but I have not played them. So that's the one that springs to mind as regards video games. I have like. A modern video game with werewolves. There probably are some, but not. I'm not a huge video gamer, so. I, I would really like a first-person shooter video, uh, werewolf where you're just clawing people and shit. Running well, and... oh, where you are a first-person yeah. claw? Yeah. No, you can do. You can be a pretty nasty werewolf in um Skyrim. Oh, oh. I became a yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah, and you can like really you can you have your own skill tree, and so you can. Get... Holy crap. Yeah, you can do all these different werewolf attacks, but you you're like you can't use any armor at all, right? When you're when you turn, so at nighttime you're a werewolf and you can't use any of your armor or weapons or anything. You are literally just like tearing people to shreds. Where you're a lot, like a lot more vulnerable, I guess, as well because you can't use your. I don't think you can take potions or anything. You're like literally just running around, <laughs> just claw clawing people. And stuff. so I didn't play Skyrim, but I played um, Oblivion. It was Oblivion, the one before, right? That? Yeah. So I played that one. Yeah. I became a vampire in that game. Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't know I became I didn't know that was something that could happen. So I just fought with something and it bit me or whatever. And I was yeah. like, it's fine. And I went back to the um, you know, to you the went to town, and I, was, right? I was just I was just doing my stuff. And every now and then my vision would go red and I'd be like, Oh, that's weird, or whatever, fine. And were people uh, rude, rude to you? Were they like, You look well, tired? Then I, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. And, then, and then I woke up the next morning and I and I like got up and everyone's like, ah, and ran away. <laughs> like, what the hell's going on? And then yeah. I and then I went to like third person and I was like this huge monster with like fangs coming out <laughs> of the ears. I was like, oh, okay. I guess that was a vampire. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. notoriously hard to get rid of in Oblivion too. It was like I don't think I bothered. I think I just way. was a yeah. vampire from, from then. So it was fine. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, totally non related. That that actually made me think of something real quick. There's a non werewolf movie with the wolf dude. Um, mm -hmm. Lady Hawk. I don't know if either one of you've seen this film. Oh, Lady I have Hawk. seen long... Lady Hawk. I have, but that's the one with Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so Rook she turns Rook Hauer, into... right? Yes, yes, Rook and Rook. Uh, she turns into a hawk during the daytime, and yeah. he turns into a wolf at night, and they they can never meet. Like they, yeah. they're two people who are cursed and they love each other, cursed, but they yeah. they can't meet because it's a basically fantasy. Yeah, obviously but like um uh he turns into a wolf at night and he can't you know if they could be animals at the same time he'd eat her because he's just a fucking bird <laughs> 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 yeah and they're not human yeah. at the same time either, yeah so yeah they can't. i remember yeah. that one that's a, a classic yeah. but it's not really a werewolf movie yeah. it's a curse i don't know if i've ever seen i know lady hawk like i know what it's about yeah. and i know yeah. that I, I don't think i've ever seen it though and there's there's no transformation scenes at all yeah. It's just kind of implied that this is what's going on. So there's a TV series that came out recently called Wolf Like Me. Wolf like oh, me? yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's on... out on it. Have you seen that? I haven't seen it. It's on Netflix, though, I think. 
unexpected werewolf thing. Okay. Hmm. Like it starts off as a romantic comedy kind of thing. Um, and then it's one of those like uh, she has a secret type of thing. It's like you know they're in the middle of a date and she's like, oh, I gotta I gotta go. You know uh, what's going on? <laughs> and then it follows her home in like the second or third episode and she locks herself in a thing and then there's all this growling and I was like, holy shit, am I watching a werewolf thing? Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> and it's another because a werewolf thing. Woman, it's another yeah. woman wolf. Yeah, right. and it's, it's a right. series. Dude. I like it. Yeah, it's okay. It's not great, but that was a good moment when i was like wait a minute <laughs> i know what's going well, on here we rarely get werewolf series you know it's always going to be a movie yeah. but not a series a lot of vampire series not a whole lot of werewolf series yeah right yeah yeah, yeah. Well, it's hard to sustain the werewolf thing i think right true because well yeah because I mean, after sus- all those murders someone's gonna get annoyed well, if you can sustain the the incredible hawk you know, it's this dude that gets pissed off and he goes and... and so there was, in the 80s, there was a series called Werewolf. Have you, did you see that? Mm-mm. Yeah, so there was basically The Incredible Hulk, except he's a werewolf. Mm. Uh, yeah, they made a movie. Sense. They made a movie of it as well. Uh, it's pretty bad, but it's probably not as bad as you think it might be. <laughs> like, it's made in the 80s. It's TV budget. Yeah. He turns into a werewolf, but he also... I th- I think I'm remembering right. I think he also solves crimes, but not as a werewolf. <laughs> I think he is just, a, I don't know. He might just be a werewolf as an inconvenience. Right. Um, I don't know. But yeah, it's a, it's a weekly like a show about about a guy who's a werewolf. It'd be hilarious if he was trying to solve his own murders that he was doing at night. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, right. that would be so funny. Like if he couldn't remember them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then he sort of gets this inkling, so he's like really ridiculously good at solving the crimes. Yeah, it's like, all this you hair doing best, everywhere. You were the best detective ever. Well, like murder, she wrote. Right? <laughs> she, she's the one that keeps going around. And everyone gets murdered around. Yeah, her. that's right. Yeah. Every, yeah, every time she goes on holiday, everyone's getting murdered. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, don't come here. Don't come to my town. Yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. Should we yeah. leave it there? Yeah, I guess we should. I've got call so it many there. things to watch. <laughs> thank you so much, Ian. Yeah, for oh, thank us. you. This is fun. I it was very fun, rarely fun. find people who are willing to listen <laughs> talk about werewolf movies with me. So, uh, well, we'll do it again fun. in a year, in hopefully around uh, Christmas. Hopefully, we'll see if yeah, we can schedule something good. like that. We've got yeah. a lot of time to watch a lot of movies. Yeah, did. All right. Well, all right. Uh, thanks. thanks for showing up, man. I guess so let me Cheers. see if I can figure out how to turn this damn thing off. <laughs>